Whoa. Dude, Zelda is so good. I got I got no joke, I'm just saying that. In three, two, one. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It is the B and Dao stream today on this fine 12th of June 2023. Today is the King's birthday. Well, it's not really the King's birthday. I think the actual King's birthday is in November. But uh, England decides to pick the second Monday of June as the Queen's birthday, except it's the King's birthday this year. Um, we haven't had one in a while. Uh, just because it's probably got the best weather of all, you know, of all the year. They just picked that date. It's got, there's no significance on the date. It's just good weather. So, I hope you're having a wonderful day and will have a wonderful day and a wonderful week ahead of you. Um, all that fun stuff. Let's get right into the game, shall we? Here we go. What? There we go. I think that was smooth. I think that was pretty flawless. Uh, but yeah, no. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Uh... It is. Let me adjust the mic. There we go. Um, yeah, this past week has been fairly chill. Chill. Fairly good. Fairly good. Fairly chill. Not really too much to say. Uh, in the last stream, I basically was... Um, well, I, I could point to it. I can, I can basically say I was here, and I gradually worked all the way around here. And also there was a gym in the middle, so there was that. Uh, this is stream number six. We're up here to Lily Cove City. I have not explored Lily Cove City, but you know what? Before I do, I think we, like, I was thinking to myself, hmm, I keep struggling. I keep having so many issues with really taking on, you know, the trainers ahead. So you know what I'm going to do? We're going to go all the way back and we're going to fight some you know, of the refight trainers. This will hopefully uh, hopefully bring me up to speed a bit. Um, and also means I'm not going to absolutely struggle. But I feel like that is probably the problem I'm having. The fact that even though I feel like I'm fighting every trainer around me, I'm not actually fighting all the trainers in the game. I'm really just fighting the ones that are in front of me. So, the trick is to go into the trick room. This is something I was kind of wanting to do near the end of the game. But then I'm like, eh, you know, now I'm feeling it. So, uh, I haven't written down which trick rooms require which, uh... I'll probably, uh, look this one up. Um, I haven't written which trick rooms require which, uh... Moves and battles. Uh, sorry, the trick house, not the trick room. Sorry. Um, who's up my front? Uh, Riff Raff, uh, cast form is just chilling in the back because, uh, Sedimenta has the experience share. And Rebox is two levels away from evolving, and Castform is just chilling. Let's get Castform up the front. You, you probably need a bit of love. Uh, I don't think there's any. I don't think there's any um thingies for this one. Any any required items? I also don't think there's any required items on the second one. Right? Sorry, on the third one. Oh, get him with a freeze right away. The weirdest part about all of these puzzles, including some of the gym puzzles, is they're all different in Pokemon Emerald. Just a bit for some, but definitely all different. Uh, some of them are different in uh, the remake as well, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, but uh, for the most part, you know, they're all pretty straightforward. I think this one is pretty simple. You gotta go around, hit the buttons, and that, uh, covers, you know, the holes. But you can't tell which, which buttons go to which holes, uh, you're kind of winging it, but it's not too bad. It's got a numa numa. Uh, but yeah, no, this, this week has been fairly, fairly alright, yeah. Like... I don't know, I'm not... Oh, double luck on that one. Uh, I'm not one to really express, like, whenever I'm having a bad week. Sometimes I'm just like, yeah, you know, I'm tired or... That's Sometimes I'll say that. But generally, no, no, like, this week has been pretty good. I feel somewhat more productive than I've been before. Uh, and uh, how about, let me jump right into uh, topic number one, which I have... Oh, right. I have actually got stimulus on my end for this one um we got the double social media uh 
you know, whammy on this one. Um, the Usually I bring up Twitter and Reddit as, well, actually nothing happened on Twitter. It's more that I found something rather interesting on Twitter. And I thought it'd be a fun conversation, but uh, usually I bring up Reddit and Twitter as like a, oh, you know, like, let's kind of poke fun at the, the, you know, I don't think it's 100% fair to call, it, 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 certainly not everyone on, on these sites is lowest common denominator, but there is a lot of really just dumb discussion that I keep constantly seeing and constantly seeing upvoted, like, I'm, I struggle to sometimes find good conversation, but I can very easily find real silly stuff. Um, Reddit has gone under a blackout period. Uh, so from between the dates of uh, the 12th of uh, June, I don't know how many days. I know I, I sometimes browse, I, I, I will admit this one, I sometimes browse Formula Dank. I get better discussion of a uh, Formula One, uh, you know, things out of Formula Dank than the actual Formula One subreddit at times. Uh, but they've gone on a blackout. There's been various other ones. I follow Reddit game deals. They've gone on a blackout. Um, some other, like, things I've been trying to, like, find information and I get a Reddit, like, link. And then it's like, yep, nope, that, that Reddit link is down. Um, I think, like, uh, self-hosted. That's one that I, I went to and then I was like, oh, okay. Um, they're all going under a blackout period for so many days, um, and this is a protest to the uh, the brand new not the yeah yeah the brand new change to how API pricing and all this stuff works with Reddit. Uh, it's and this is something I uh, I might not have, I don't think I've mentioned, um, but definitely I am a user of the Reddit is fun or the Rift is fun app because I couldn't use Reddit in their name. Um, app for Android. It's probably the biggest third-party um, Android Reddit client, I think, out there. If you're on iOS, uh, you'd probably use one called Apollo, and they're in the same boat, if a worse boat, because it's a it was a bigger ship. Um, so the impact is greater. Uh, the new pricing st structure from Reddit basically would charge, um, and I, I recommend, um, I guess, it, it if it's if it's not too late from the from today, which it is June the twelfth, um, try and find the actual Reddit Apollo the Apollo dev developers uh, discussion about this. He um, mentioned all the bits that he was very unhappy of about Reddit's administration, uh, about how this pricing uh, scheme was really announced to him, uh, how absurd the pricing scheme even is, um, and uh, yeah, he he says that yeah, like this would actually cost. 20 million US dollars annually worth of API calls. Something that was, um, if it was free before, what? Reddit? Was it really free before? Um, I'm not too sure if that was the case, but certainly it did not cost this guy anywhere near as much as it did now. And same thing for the Reddit is fun app. Um, and, uh, they, yeah, they're both shutting down at the end of the, the month. At the end of June, uh, 2023, um, you know, these third-party apps will cease to exist because they've effectively been um, price gouged out of existing. They can't access Reddit's APIs enough. Um, so, um, yeah, they're basically, you know, stuff. These prices are way too high. Um, this means that effectively you have to use uh, one, two, three, four, five places. I think it's your timer wall. Nice. Uh, here we go. I'll make new tricks. I think I could do the, the third layout as well. I don't think it's too far off. Um, it, was a, it was a neat puzzle, but it was like another, you know, maze, basically. Let's go back and heal. You know, I haven't taken too much damage, but I know I'm probably going to take a bit more. Um, but yeah, no, the, the, the pricing changes, uh, to be honest as well, they seem real exorbitant, and that was something that, um, the Apollo guy, um, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know your name off the top of my head, um, but that was something that he explicitly expressed over the phone, and, uh, whoever Reddit representative he was talking to, uh, said, no, no, we're not gonna be like Twitter, where we absolutely, you know, 
go crazy with our API costs, although I think Twitter backpedaled on that, I think. Um, yeah, no, they're going ahead with it. Um, API prices is a very uh, contentious topic because it's obviously a balancing act. You don't want to be free because otherwise people will abuse your system. And we don't want it... Um... Oh, I'm going to need more smash here. Yeah. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Back up. We get, the, we get the Ziggy. Get the Ziggy out. Dang it, I looked at Bulbapedia, I see the, the map, and I go, oh look, no rocks. I go, I go to the actual place, and there be rocks. I've been lied to. Um, but yeah, no, APIs are a very contentious topic because, um, yeah, you, you want to strike that balancing point. I think, you know, uh, enterprises can pay more per user, if that makes sense. A hobbyist is really not going to be paying, you know, or making that much. Usually a hobbyist is making something that uh, isn't really as marketable, uh, gets a lot of people trying it out, and usually, uh, you know, relies a bit more on open source, and open source generally just doesn't make as much. Unless it's so ubiquitous that you end up pretty much covering the entire market. Then it does, but... Um, these Rock Smash Rocks do not cause any uh, wild Pokemon to appear, apparently, so... It's all just fighting a few more trainers. But these trainers keep, you know, they're trainers, first of all, so you get 50% more experience, and, uh, you yeah, know, some of their levels kind of catch up. Like, this guy's got a level 24 Kecleon, which isn't too bad, until I realize I only have one move. Might be bad. We'll see. Oh, yeah, jeez. Gosh, I can't get Weather Ball sooner, can I? Um, but yeah, I, I, I think for, especially for open source, or at least, you know, for, for freely made applications, um, I feel like there's not, you know, uh, you do want innovation, you do, I mean, that's the whole point of why your API exists, is that you do want people to innovate off your program, off your, you know, your service. Reddit is a fairly good grounds for that. Uh, Twitter, the same deal, although I guess both are very fine for large language models, uh, that kind of training. And that's, you know, that's making a lot more bank right now, I guess. But yeah, like, I don't think it's right to really, you know, one, price, price gouge out your existing, uh, you know, top applications. Like, the Apollo app is more popular, I believe, than the official Reddit client. And as much as Reddit hates that, it's something that they should maintain. They should maintain that respect and, a, you know, appreciation for, um, for the original, uh, third-party clients that are still doing fairly good. Um, the, the, the Apollo dev also mentioned, why doesn't Reddit, you know, somewhat jokingly, but there is a certain degree of, yeah, actually, why not? Um, why doesn't Reddit buy this guy? Like, clearly, you know, his program gets in a lot of users, um, and, uh, you know, if he's going to be paying 20 million annually for this, they could probably just buy his service for much less, and he'd probably be a little more okay with it. Not a lot more, but a little more. This seems rather straightforward to get this, doesn't it? The Elder Scroll. Well, it's just a scroll, actually. Uh... Now to somehow get to the end. What would anyone want with a house this bizarre? Well, see, that's the magic of the trick house right there. Uh, I think I can do the fifth puzzle now. I'm looking at it. Yeah, this is the fourth one. I'm like, yeah, no, I think I think the fifth one is on the table. Let's get him with the Psy Beam. Is this gonna do damage? I don't know. Maybe? Yeah, it is. Nice. No spot? Ah, just stick it. Keep it. Still go. 
Um, so, yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, yeah, Reddit are not moving on their stance. Uh, Apollo and Reddit's fun clearly cannot support what they're doing anymore, and so they're bailing. Their API tokens will expire at the end of the month, or they'll revoke them, rather, um, and they will proceed to not, you know, support these apps anymore. They'll be taken down from download, uh, existing subscribers will probably just have their remaining credits refunded, or if they want to, they can generously keep the, the donation, um, or keep it as a donation, I guess. Um, and to be honest, I feel like both of these programs, like, as a Reddit is fun user, I like the interface. It's super simple. Uh, hi and send help. Uh, I'm sending my help. My help is coming towards you, but why do you need help? Oh my gosh. So many buttons all over the place. What is going on, Mr. Crib? Why, why do you need the help? Uh, see, I just want to, like... Press a button and then go up. Well, I guess all the blue is broken, so or changed. So this button should. Yeah, that's good. Shadow melt ghasts. You have ghasts. Is that like guests or ghosts? Or I guess gas are also spirits, but I don't know what's going on here. I'm starting to feel sad. Well, don't be sad. I'm about to kick your butt. Minecraft gas. Oh no! Never mind. I take it back. That's so much worse. I the first time I ever experienced having to fight gas in Minecraft, it was terrifying because the sound doesn't drop off in in distance. It's the same sound the moment they're within ten chunks or wherever, however long the the distance is. It's terrifying. Yeah. So yeah. So anyway. So as of the. Particularly these two major players, I believe. Um, uh, a lot of subreddits are doing a blackout period, or rather, as of now, they are doing a blackout period, and maybe they'll be back up when you watch this VOD. Or maybe not on the first day or so, but eh, they'll probably be back. Um, and, uh, yeah, hopefully they're trying to, uh, trying to build another hub on single player world 1.5.2 from Quartz and Glass. I've never been able to, like, make a, um, hub, basically, in the nether. Whole spawn is a war zone at this point. Yeah, I, I've i never felt, like, too comfortable making um, too much stuff in the nether. I'm usually just in and out. Mostly because they usually use water a bunch. And, uh, yeah, that's a no-go in the nether. There's a sleepy cast for me. Sleeping. Um, so, yeah, so all of these, uh, so, in particular, I think uh, Reddit Save Third Party Apps was probably a recently created subreddit. Uh, but there's a post there from Spicy Thunder 335 and uh, pretty much he's uh, created a bit of a demand list. This is a protest. This is something that... Um, so, pretty much uh, API technical issues. Which I, don't, I don't think it's a technical issue, but like, yeah, yeah, like... Um, oh, goodbye, hail. It takes me so long to wake up, and then it's like, oh, I'm still in love. Nah. Like, if I get sung again, I'm just bailing with cars for me. He ain't rocking it. Um. Oh, come on. Oh. Get all assist. I like it. Um. But yeah, uh. Also, the, um, the Apollo devs said that, uh, basically they were given 30 days to somehow change the whole system to somehow support, uh, old Minecraft. Gas fireballs will never hit you if you stand still. He shoots and destroys everything that is behind you, and I need to remind you that I am building quartz and glass sphere. Oh, if you're building a glass sphere, pfft. No hope. It's cool, but, yeah, oh boy, it's so tricky there. Um. So, uh... Is it rate limits would need to be per user plus app key, not just key? There's a lot of things that they're demanding in here, and some of it is like... Uh, API keys are often not per... Well... If they're per... Uh, sometimes they are, actually. I'll take that back. Yeah. I think what they're demanding, like, can definitely be done on Reddit side, and that would make Apollo work. If it's, you know, it's a rate limit for the user. It's basically the user directly accessing Reddit. Because right now it's kind of like well, you have to, the third-party app is effectively being a middleman, and that's a lot. Of, that's a bit of infrastructure to, to make it all work.
Or they call in the API directly and they gave everyone the API key. One of the two. Uh, should be able to go down and up, right? There we go. That was a bit of work, but I got there in the end. Trick master is coveted. There we go. Hello there, Mr. Man. Ah, you made it to me. Hmm, you're sharp. It took me all night to bring in those boulders. You're almost my equal and greatest by one, two, three, four places. Fine, you have earned this reward. A hard stone. Nice. Um, another thing that they're also kind of uh, demanding is um, accessibility for blind people. Apparently, the official app does not really have... Uh, you know, things that meet the user's needs. Okay. It was like, I, I feel like this is just like, ah, oh, while we're on the roll, let's just ask for this. Sure. Um, also, apparently, uh, what is this? Parody and access to not safe for work content? This is the other thing I think is actually the most, like, surprising part about both Reddit and, um, Twitter is the fact that they, like, they both allow porn. I know, I'm gonna get demonetized. But, like, it's... It's strange to me that these sites got so big, continue to be like the, you know, marketing powerhouses that they are, and yet they, they still allow for like explicit content. They, they like, if you're looking in the right place, you're gonna see some real shocking stuff on both of these sites. Um, I'm being watched. Oh, I did not catch where that, where that blip was. I think it was over on my left. I'm seeing it out of the corner of my eye. Nope. It was a window, maybe. Yeah, it was a window. Because it's off screen. Come to challenge my trick house. Oh, I realize I need strength on this one. Oh, I, uh. Does he have strength? You know what he does have? An ultra ball. Did I give him strength? I did not give him strength, no. Onwards and onwards. I like how all the items you get in the trick rooms are all just male. I don't know what's going on there. Not sure. Do -do -do. All my homies go into orange cursor mode by hitting select. Um, yeah, the, the moral is I, I guess, you know, these subreddits are gonna go down until either they hear something or uh, maybe, I don't know if they're just gonna go on or, you know, at, at some point by default, but I, I feel like, yeah, Reddit's got the upper hand here. They're gonna, they're gonna do this until there's some actual meaningful change. Um, and unfortunately, I don't think that change is actually gonna be, uh, coming from, you know, just shutting down the subreddits. I think, legitimately, what is gonna fix this, uh, is, unfortunately for some, it's people stopping using Reddit. Now, fortunately, there are alternatives. I believe uh, there is um, there's a couple of ones, and I actually list some. Uh, there's, uh, was it kbin.social? I'm not too sure what they're running. They're running like their own kind of activity pub style, um, you know, for, or activity pub based uh, forum. Um, but there's also uh, Lemmy, which I have actually tried setting up a Lemmy. Um, and uh, it's not 100% ready, uh, ready, and it's also not, um, I guess I could just switch to Rebox again, can't I? Uh, it's not 100% ready, I haven't quite figured out how to get the image, um, like, forwarding quite working, so every, every image on the site is currently busted, but it apparently communicates with other instances, and so I can at least send text content, that's, that's fine there. Uh, if people will stop using Reddit, Jesus will return to Earth. I mean, you know, it is... It is a, a somewhat dream, not a dream, so I, don't, I don't exactly demand it, I kind of want just a good, you know, social media network, so I'm, you know, the decentralized nature of both of these that, ba that they're based on activity pub is an absolute great thing, because it means that your community is, you know, not at all, like, privy to the whole requirements of this whole master site, your community is your community. Run it. Just, just, you know, have fun there. You don't have to worry about, like, whatever going on around it. And if you're a person you want to explore around, hey, you can explore all these other communities. The risk is, of course, with all this federation and, and all this stuff, is that you're going to come across stuff that is super questionable. But to that, I would say, well, there's the tools 
you know, you have the tools to block the instances you don't want to see, to, you know, kind of promote the instances you do want to see. Like, that's, that's the power of the Federation. Um, so, I, I'm super on board with people using Lemmy. I do wish people, uh, would find the, um, I guess, would not all spam lemmy.ml. Try and, try and find some other instances of Lemmy if you want to join. Um, or alternatively get, like, some people to just host their own. Um, or if you want to learn- Oh my gosh, of course he's got the right type hidden power. Get him! Yeah. Hey, there you go. That's some good stuff. Oh, but he, he gets unfrozen in one turn. Nah, it's not worth it. It's not worth it, bro. What a shame. Oh well. Uh, yeah, Nonogram is like kind of high level, so I'm not too fussed about letting him sit there, but... I do want everyone else to kind of be about the same level, but I also would like uh, March Tom to hit level 36 and evolve. That'd be cool. Go all getting stricken by hail. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, if you're... Now, if you're a person and you're, you know, uh, poured into this mix of uh, whole subreddits getting taken down, um, I guess, yeah, it, it does sort of suck, like, as a user getting thrown into this, but... I mean, me personally, I am affected by Reddit's own API decisions, because now I'm not browsing Reddit on my phone. I, I am not. Like, they have made the service worse. There's a there's a term we use in tech, um, and uh, what's the... There's a, there's a term out there. Um, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure it's a bit vulgar. But it's basically the idea of a company just making product, or like a product worse because they're the only ones who, like, they want to effectively just stoke more, um, more, like, engagement, basically. They make, you know, they bog down, uh, Monopoly, no, it's, it's like, it's like, um, it's like the word empowering, but it's like making it worse, so it's not empowering. And it's not like an actual word, it's just, it's kind of just portmanteau. Um, but it's basically along those lines of just like making a product worse purely because it will earn you a lot more revenue. They, they've done the calculations and they've gone, oh, you know, if we throw in like 20% more ads, yeah, there's going to be people who, you know, stop using the product. Yeah, there's going to be like, generally everyone is going to find it worse. But you know what? That will make more money. And they just go for that. And I, I hate that. I know that is what they do. But I hate that that is the inevitable end product. I feel like there is a, you know, there is a point of like, you should try and maximize your customer, you know, interaction and, 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 uh, sorry, your, your customer satisfaction, I feel. And if that means that, yeah, you know, your product doesn't run at the most maximum of profits, you should strike a, uh, you know, you could, you should still strike a balance of, hey, my product needs to still make enough money to run, and I would like to pay developers to go and, you know, create new features and new exciting things. Like, that's fine. I'm cool with that. A lot of these companies get way too massive, though. As in, they make so much more money that now it's, it's investor kind of, you know, cyclical investor cycles. It's like, here's an investor, he puts in $100 million into Reddit, he expects it to turn into $200 million in six months, uh, which is a bit too, a bit too, uh, today's a holiday in Russia. What, what are the odds? It's a holiday here in Australia as well. It's the King's birthday today. Happy birthday, King. Okay, I've got one more trick house to do, I think. Uh, I don't think there's actually any, uh, am I looking at the right one? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's actually a, um, a HM requirement in this one. I think, I, I don't think so, maybe. The day of Russia. It is not the same public holiday ever, but... That's uh, some fun coincidence, yeah. 
Um, is it the other window? Is it the drawers? Is it the cupboard? Is it that cupboard? I was still not paying attention. Dang it. Ah! There's a tree. I'm the planter. Uh, so yeah. So, moral of the story is, yeah, I think that companies in general, all these big tech companies, I, I hate the idea of, like, they've gotten large and then they just eternally stay large and, uh... Oh boy, now I gotta, now I gotta know how to answer these are some questions. Mechadol 1 and I and I, if you answer quiz, if you answer quizzes correctly, you'll go to Mechadol 5. You can obtain the secret code. One of these Pokemon is not found on Route 103. Um... Puccino, right? No, Nikita. Nikita, no, because yeah, I caught Nikita and I had to get him so much later. Yeah, easy. I think there's actually no trainers in there. I think it is purely just this. Okay. I think if you get it wrong, you have to go back to the beginning. Uh, Professor Birch's bag, there were three Pokemon. Which one's wrong on the right? That would have been, um... Torchic on the right. Nope. Oh, oh okay. Ah, oh, they have sovereignty of Russian Pokemon. Okay. One of these Pokemon is not of the grass type. Uh, Nikita. Again. Isn't that weird? They got multiple questions. The Devon researcher was looking for what Pokemon in Pelberg? He was looking for Shroomish. I remember that one. This whole level is a question mark as well. Matters of money on my sole focus. Which costs more, three Pokeballs or one Super Potion? I... this... Uh, I thought a Super Potion was 500, so I think three Pokeballs... What? Oh my gosh. Was I so wrong? From Soviet Union sovereignty from yourself, I guess? That is... Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So, so moral of the story is, investor stuff with, with Reddit is, uh... Like, let's think of that yet again. Uh, Investor uh, pressure, I'm really not the biggest fan of. Um, because, yeah, it, it effectively means that these products do get worse over time. There's a degree of just they keep maximizing profits, they keep maximizing growth, and uh, we'll go with the super question. Okay, I guess, sure. Um, and it does, unfortunately, make things just way worse eventually. There is a point when they're making it so fast, and then it just gets so much worse. He's a Geodude, was it male or female? What's female? I, my big guess, where all the trainers have the same gender as their, you know, their own self. Easy. Uh, Master's best and proudest achievement am I. How many bikes does Rydal have on display outside his cycle shop? Uh, six or eight? Uh, I'm gonna say it was probably eight. That's a, yeah, okay, that's a fun number. Gosh, he does make it easy. Trickmaster is a genius. There we go. You're sharp. You're almost made equal greatness by one, two places. We're almost there. We're almost there. TM12 is actually pretty neat as well. What is, what is TM12? Which one is TM12 actually? Yeah. Taunt. Nice. Do I actually need taunt on any of them? I don't think I did. I still, I still love that I never have my notes open every time I start a stream. I'm like, yeah. okay, there you go. I no, I didn't have taunt on any of them. Well, okay, that's all the trick rooms that we can do. Because if I come back in here, I'm very certain it's just um, either he's chilling or whatever. But I'm not being watched. Yeah, he's just saying, oh, I'm making the next one. Uh, so yeah, it, uh, for people who use Reddit, um, check out Lemmy. Actually, just go to lemmy.ml and uh, try and, like, to understand it, basically just go, like, you know, lemmy.ml is an instance of, you know, Lemmy. It is like, um, you know, Reddit in that sense. You can make subreddits or, as they call, communities, so it's slash C. Um, 
Other than that though, it's basically like Reddit. The only thing is that then you can go to all, uh, so not just local, which is all the communities on Lemmy.ml, but all, which is all the ones federated across every instance of Lemmy. And uh, that's kind of exciting because yeah, it means that you can find communities all over. Some of the stuff you may not like, some of the stuff you may like. Just just ban the stuff that you, or block the stuff you don't like. Easy. There you go. That's that's uh, decentralized stuff in a nutshell. Um, so I recommend that. Um, maybe there's other ones out there as well. You know, this is a new time for a lot of people, myself included, uh, for finding what kind of content um, that is. Um, there's actually, I'm, I'm pretty sure, uh, I saw a question on a. Um, Motorsport Replays, that was another subreddit I go to, where it's like, they didn't participate in the blackout, but someone is asking, like, mm, should we, like, jump ship? And I'm like, yeah, maybe. Maybe. I think it's worth having a mirror at some point. So, uh, anyway, so, now I'm gonna go to some of these fellas. Person on Route 118, uh, 121, 104. I know where the one on 104 is. How about let's go... Over here, because yeah, you don't have to ask these people for their phone numbers like you would have in the, you know, uh, gold and silver. They're just added, added to your list as you fight them, and then they're gonna have a little flashing icon when you get to refight them, so. So I'm pretty sure it's this chap over here. There you go. I learned a bunch of things about Pokemon. This is kind of cool how you get to refight them. Um, you do have to remember, like, which trainer is which. So this guy had a Zigzagoon when you fought him last time, and now he's like, ooh, he's, he's coming serious, he's got the Linoon. Yeah. Just now Ray, oh, hail. Whoops. Wrong one. I'm taking a bit of damage there, so... Uh, and yeah, as, as for that, I hope Reddit does backpedal on their policy. I don't think they will. I, that's that's a huge problem. And, and yeah, you know, maybe this is the end of Reddit. And I worry that, you know, at these sites... Like, people will say, oh, it's the next dig. As in, you know, they started going too heavy in the, in the investor camp and now, you know, they, they backed out. But the problem is, is that... I think uh, internet started from guys who tried to run from centralized concrete and make decentralized one where you can say anything you want, become centralized until a new gen came and started to undermine this never-ending circle. Yeah, like, I think it, it's definitely possible for um, something to be, uh, you know, like, like Lemmy seems like it is the next new uh, thing to surpass Reddit. Um, we do always run into the risk of uh, Mastodon is kind of like this, where there is a big Mastodon instance, and there is definitely divisions in the, um, you know, in the communities, and there's only going to be, you know, so long until, uh, suddenly all Mastodons don't communicate with really, really, uh, there's going to be a point where all Mastodons don't communicate with all Pleromas, perhaps, you know, they're going to be trying their best to rope them in together, um, but there is a degree of, yeah, you know, like, one camp doesn't like the other camp. Um, I don't think that uh, I don't think it's Pleroma necessarily that they, that they don't like, but still, um, at least the joy of it being open source and decentralized means that you're never truly locked into one vendor. Um, but yeah, definitely, like just keep your wits about, and you know we'll try and navigate this landscape. My biggest problem is that these like larger sites are so large that there's a lot of people who. Uh, have, you know, grown up with that as their only system, or maybe not grown up, but like, that's the only system they've actually encountered on the internet, and suddenly it's like, oh, well, now they don't know, they, they lack the information to, um, really, you know, make that kind of jump, make that shift. When they go to, uh, you know, in fact, actually, when Twitter got bought out and a bunch of people tried Mastodon, a lot of people did not understand Mastodon, um, Despite it, to me at least, as a developer, to me it was like, oh, it seems fairly obvious. You just go on, you start making posts, and that's it. And it's just like email, basically. Which is the comparison that a lot of people are going, yeah, please make that comparison. Every time, uh, every time, you know, we talk about one of those decentralized things, just think of it like email. Which is also tricky, because email is sort of centralized these days, isn't it? 
Uh, it's, I, I know of a couple of sites where if you try and sign in and your email address is not Gmail, Yahoo, uh, Bing, um, Hotmail, like a handful of like known email addresses, if you have, um, and I know there's like some that people blacklist like uh, Mailinator or other kinds of email providers, um, but even if it's like, oh, like I have a custom email, bndow at bndow.com, wink wink nudge nudge business inquiries, um, but yeah, like, the sites which go, oh, I don't know that one, and they just immediately dismiss it. It's like, what? Well, that's just, that's just me. That's just my own email. Come on. Why are they going to block me on that one? So, but listen, hey, that's a lost customer. <laughs> I'm going to call out any, any, any business that ever does that. If I try and sign up and you don't permit my email address because you don't trust me. Oh, okay, I don't trust you then. I'm not using your service. I know that's a bit of a my way or the highway thing, but legit, like, the whole point is that, like, you know, what, there are some things where it's like you should treat them fairly, like, loosely, I guess. Well, not loosely, but, like, without restriction. Um, I guess you could always say, well, you know, can't someone just make an instance that, like, rate spam someone? And the answer is, yeah, I guess. I guess. Lots of people all over the place. Too bad you can't sort this list by anything. Uh, Miguel. Miguel's over here on the right, isn't he? You're not Miguel. You, you wouldn't be Miguel. Where's Miguel? Where is Miguel? You, you're not Miguel, you're just a guy. Oh, wait, 103 is... Ah, oh, 103 is up here, isn't it? Yeah, he's on the other side of this one. Miguel, Miguel, I can't believe it, Miguel. Yeah. But, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll navigate this kind of rocky landscape together. Um, I still, and I, I am still very, very open to this one. Um, like, I stream to Twitch, and I, I upload to YouTube. I know, I am, I am myself guilty of relying on these large websites that clearly just fund themselves off advertising. Um, and even then, I don't think YouTube particularly uh, makes a crazy high profit out of that. So, uh, do I have an actual solution? Not quite. I'm trying to, you know, work with PeerTube, but um, I think for me, I haven't quite figured out, like, um, I've been trying to use, like, Nginx Proxy Manager. I, I, I've been using Nginx Proxy Manager for a lot of things, and I've realized maybe, like, the more complex setups, I should be Nginxing to uh, the clusters Nginx. As in, you know, both uh, Chloroma and um, uh, Lenny, as I've been trying to set up, they actually run off multiple instances, multiple kind of, you know, locations. So, like, uh, Lemmy, there's an API service, there's a front-end service, there's an image hosting service, and then there's a database, and the database clearly isn't publicly accessible. But the uh, image hosting service needs to effectively be proxied through the backend, and also the backend needs to be somewhat accessible uh, via the same uh, domain as the front-end. Um, there's a lot of complication, and uh, apparently Nginx Proxy Manager is a bit weird. It's kind of auto-doing some things that I don't really know if it should be doing them. Um, so I think the trick of what I should be doing is just setting up Nginx within a cluster, and then the Nginx config is just there. Whereas, like, right now it's like... Um, oh my gosh, he's pacing back and forth. Oh, he's mad! Uh, I don't think I really got a ton of levels then, did I? I can sort of continue on, but I also worry that cast form is a bit caught out. But, Sedimentar is chilling here. Uh, what level does Slugma gain moves? Because, I mean, Amberum Rock Throw, he could totally be getting better stuff. He could totally be getting better stuff by now. Um, halfway through building. Halfway through building? Ooh. Uh, what does he learn? He learns... He does learn Flamethrower at 36. And once you get Flamethrower, like, he's set. But until then... I... Don't know... I'm gonna switch the experience share. 
I'm gonna switch the experience shaft. Yeah, the only thing with Slugmar is that he is not fast. So, that's his one catch. At least Riff Raff can take out things. Uh, another gas artillery won't stop me. Okay, anyway, let's fly back up to... Let's continue on a bit and then see if I get caught out some more. So, in Lily Cove City, I'm still not fighting the rival. I know, he's chilling up there, but I'm not fighting him. Not yet, at least. Uh, so, yeah, in the last room I, I fought everyone basically all, all the way up to this place. But there's a side cut that you would still need to, uh, you know, go down in order to um, continue, I guess. Uh, and this is actually something that, like, when I first played the game, I did get a bit confused by this. Um, I sort of want to, like, not have Wingull, um, just because I want to have all six party members as, like, options right now, because I don't quite trust having anything else. But yeah, if we, you can see how there's all these Team Aqua people, and, uh, if, uh, I'm pretty certain your rival is just chilling in front of the department store, so if, uh, I don't think he's going to suddenly jump on me. No, yeah, yeah, he's not going to suddenly jump on you, but he's, like, right there. Um, I don't think you'd be able to see it from here, but uh, the way this town is laid out, there's like all this uh, stuff over here, and uh, you'll see that there's a cave over there, which you're not allowed to, to continue on. They have all these things here. Uh, and obviously that means you have to turn around and go down the route that you haven't actually gone down yet, right? <laughs> so, I'll explore this town more fully later, but for now... Uh, We'll be taking on some some more trainers in this direction. Oh. Yeah. So this brings me to topic number. Oh, I still hate coming across Lanoons. Just means you need a fast Pokemon up the front. Fortunately, Riff Raff is not too bad. But you do come across Lanoons probably more often than. Anything else, so, ugh. Yeah. Uh, so this brings me into, yeah, conversation number two, which is, uh, sort of unrelated, but actually very unrelated. This one is very, uh, games-focused, um, and, uh, it was more just a very interesting kind of question? Not question, a very accusatory statement on Twitter. We'll just say that, you know, like normal things on Twitter. 33, by the way, jeez. Might as well just fight him. I'm rock type and he might have a water type attack. I don't, I, I, listen, I, I don't know my type coverage off the top of my head anymore. I've, I've completely forgotten it. Uh, I'll just go with Aerial Ice. Yeah, it's a bit better. Oh, I guess if he's just gonna go with Acid, sure, okay. There you go. Nice stuff. 247 is a lot of experience. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, the accusatory Twitter statement, uh, came at the, I guess, from Twitter account, uh, please don't demonetize me, uh, Twitter account, look at my meat one. Uh, nice, great name. Uh, this is a, uh, I guess a mock quote, I guess. On Twitter, there are people who say they are fans of games, uh, but they never play it and only watch YouTube playthrough and pretend they know everything. Um, this is, by the way, this is a, uh, I guess, a place where spirits can appear. Mount Pyre. Um, there's a few trainers uh, all over. See. Oh my gosh, I got so many things you gotta expand open. Uh, you must care for your Pokemon. Oh my gosh. The red eyes, the blood. Um, but Mount Pyre is a ghost place, similar to the uh, Pokemon Tower of uh, previous Pokemon games. Uh, this place is filled with ghosts. In fact, it's filled with basically the only... Oh, actually, oh no, you got a variety of ghosts. But it's six floors of seeing Shoppet constantly if you're playing Pokemon Sapphire or Pokemon or uh, Duskull if you're playing Ruby. And then near the end, you get a little bit of the other one. Oh, the bag's full. Okay, what do I have that I just don't need? I've been picking up all this mail. Yeah, no, I don't need. 
he's saying? Yeah, yeah. Listen, if I, if I can't pick up things, I'll just... Yeah. Clan stag is important. Very important. Did you get a... What do you do with the clan stag? You, uh... I've seen counter right. Or thirds of it. Which may... Uh, I don't know, I think it might be useful here. Let's equip it, why not? Uh, but yeah, so, anyway, it's a very accusatory statement. I would like to add that. This is a cool dungeon, though, because you get, like, all these, like, bits. You gotta go up the stairs. Actually, what was up the stairs? I forgot what was up the stairs. That barely any encounters. Wonderful. Barely. <laughs> so it's a very accusatory statement, and I think the um, the main thing is to unpack the statement before I start memeing on the the, the quote tweets. Um, but okay, so <laughs> my skinny, and then some nerd is just like, <laughs> no, are you fighting me? Um, so. Okay, so, there are people who say they are fans of games. I would like- oh my gosh, a Laron. Well, I would like to send out some other Pokemon, but I feel like Kiparoni is actually the best shot at this one. Jeez. Level 32 Laron, okay, sure. No, I wanted to send out Kiparoni. I wanted- Kiparoni was the one I sent out, excuse me. I'm sending him out, dang it. He's building that defense. Iron defense is a great move if you can actually teach it to some of your Pokemon. I actually wanted to teach it to, um, uh, Almaldo, but you have to basically, like, egg breed it. I think he learns Iron defense, does he? If not, then... Uh... Well, maybe Mechargo can learn it. Yeah. It's too much effort, though, because you need someone who has it in order to give it to someone else. So... Hi there, two people. We're here on a dare. I'll cream you. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. So, fans of a game. And I guess this is a big thing. To me, when I read that for the first time, I immediately thought, Oh, fans of a game. You know, fans are clearly the... Um... The... Uh, like... The people who... I don't know why I keep using Metal Claw on the things that it's not good against. I keep thinking Steel is generally good. Nice. Nice. Can we do a double freeze? Hey! Heck yeah! Heck yeah! Um... Yeah, to me, a fan is particularly like me, basically. As in, someone who plays the games and really enjoys them, or something along the lines of that. Um, so that that was something I, I would go down, but I guess... And then, uh, man, I'm, I'm doubling up with the uh, not very worth it attacks, am I? Uh, I guess to some, though, fan can mean totally different things, because... Uh, you know, like, a fan could be, uh, fandom. It could be someone who is actually, um, you know, they participate in the world of the game, or the, the lore of the game, something along those lines, rather than necessarily being, um, you know, like, me, basically. I don't exactly participate in the lore of the games that I still super enjoy. As much as I enjoy Pokemon- does I hit both? Oh no, it just hits one. Okay. I thought that'd be insane if they hit both. Uh, there we go. I like how sleep doesn't break out in one turn, but... Being frozen does, and it seems to do quite a bunch as I'm using it. Oh, growl's the worst. And... No, I think Battle Snow's okay. But yeah, uh... Yeah, so I, I would like to just preface by going, my definition of fan was different to uh, what a lot of people interpret it as. Uh, then they say, but they never play it and only watch YouTube playthroughs and pretend they know everything. So first of all, I don't think there's anything wrong 
Uh, well, actually, not even, I don't think. There is nothing wrong if you only engage with a game uh, through, you know, YouTube videos. I think that a publisher of a game might be like, oh, I want you to buy the game at some point. And as much as they think, and to some degree, degree they are right, having some, you know, streaming exposure of a game does help to some degree. Um, there is a certain point where it's like there are some games that people stream them and view them too much and now, you know, like there's a lot of those uh, those kind of visual novel style games and they, you know, they don't get as much money as maybe they could because the experience is kind of being spoiled a lot by playthrough. I personally do not watch any of those um, and all I can just say is like, well, it depends on you and it, uh, as an individual whether you want to watch that stuff or not. Um, but I personally will not be uh, streaming any games that are very kind of just that don't have a gameplay aspect to them. I guess that's my main thing. Um, lots of the games that I play personally on my streams, um, I guess this is an interesting one as well because it's like I'm coming at it from the perspective of someone who has been playing through games a lot on YouTube. Um, so it's like, but my goal, like my big purpose that I want out of all the games that I ever play is I want you to play them. Or at the very least, kind of go, hey, how cool is this game, or how interesting is this game in some way? Um, I don't really, like, want to just say, like, oh, this game sucks, you should play it. And I, I don't really like, you know, I feel like the worst kinds of games to stream are just the boring ones, because then it just shows people that they're boring, which is not great. Um, but, you know, there, there's always a purpose, there's a... There's something to it, I guess. Um... But yeah, there's nothing wrong with you as a viewer if that's the only way you engage with the game. So I'll just say that. Um, pretending they know everything. Now this is the big thing. I know this person never used the word if in, in any of uh, this uh, supposed statement. But um, yeah, I, I would say this is the big condition there. You need to, if you're someone who claims they know everything about a game, um, then yes, this is now the part where it gets irritating. It gets very frustrating for me as a user. Nice recover, by the way. It gets frustrating for me as someone interacting around the internet. Does Kadabra have just, like, no defense? Jeez. I wasn't expecting that one. Man, Riff Raff is... He's pulling his weight. He's doing alright. I just need to find more Kadabras in the future. I lost that clean... You did lose that cleanly, yes. Oh, you can see the mystical hole down the bottom there. Um, but yeah, so if you're if you're someone who claims you know everything about a game, but you haven't actually played it, that I would say, bum bum, like please reevaluate why what you're saying on the internet because if you don't play a game, you don't a hundred percent know everything, like about the game in terms of a critical playing thing. I guess the best you can say is, hey, I read up a ton about, you know, like, uh, like, I'll say Dark Souls. I think Dark Souls would be a nice example for me, um, because I personally went through, I, when I personally played Dark Souls after, and this was only a couple of years ago, it might have been 2021 or 20, I think it was 2021 when I played through it for the, like, finally got through it for the first time. Um, my experience was so different, radically different, to how anyone I've ever seen. And maybe it's because I haven't been, you know, I don't browse various... Ah, oh, dang it. Sedimentar, now's your time to shine. He's got the special defense. Can he get the special kill? The Carmine's gonna throw me off, though, because it's, uh... Yeah, increasing the special defense there. Oh, I think I might have this. I think I might have this. Yeah, I mean, he's level 32, so he should start, like, getting some, some pops eventually. There you go. I drown in self-pity, excuse me. Also, did I give Castform the experience share and then still keep him second in my party? Nice. Good job, me. Good job. I mean, granted, that was, what, the fourth double battle in the entire game? So. Teacher, please watch over my progress. Ugh. Um, 
So yeah, like almost all the community interaction and all like the Reddit hype and all this stuff about Dark Souls ended up not being at all the experience I got. I personally think Dark Souls is just as, in fact, it's exactly the same challenge as me playing through Castlevania 1 on the NES. It is not exactly unique. I mean, it's, it's unique in various ways, but Castlevania on the NES is very similar because it's like you walk into, a, you know, the next kind of bit of screen and suddenly something comes at you and you're like, oh my goodness, what is going on? And it's probably going to throw you off. It's probably going to wreck you a bit. You know, there's a lot of that. Dang it, Harry Mama. Oh, he's sending me back out again. Cool. 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 Cool Pokemon battle. Wow. That was a very fun Pokemon battle. I'm glad that that was... that just happened. Oh, he's about to choke me out. He's gonna choke me out, bro. Uh-oh, he's getting revenge. It's a bit of damage, though, because I think that is, like, um... Is revenge kind of like counter? That's, yeah, that's a fair bit, yeah. So, yeah, the... Anyway, loaded statement, I guess. Now... Oh my goodness, man, the quote tweets on this one. Like, I know... I know it's Twitter. I know it's silly. But I would like to read out various ones of these. This is not at all directed towards the people who have made these. I'm literally just scrolling through the quote tweets and I see some real horrendous stuff. As in, it's just, oh boy, it's, it's like, oh, me? I don't do this. You're entitled. There's a lot of that going on. So, uh, particularly, I would like to say, uh, I'll, I'll read one out. Some people don't have access to the console. I think it's valid to watch playthroughs of and content of it to be a fan. Stop gatekeeping lol. Now, I don't exactly know where the lol is coming from in this case. I guess maybe they think it's laughable. I guess that's where they're coming from. Um, but yeah, okay, so now we're going loaded against loaded. So first of all, yes, I guess some people do not have access to consoles. And this actually was something that is... Um, you know, something that, uh, to me... Oh yeah, Psychic on Psychic, whoops. Um, I guess Confuse Ray? I guess we'll go for that. Is the attack Confuse Ray? Did you see that? Um, I guess there are people out there who do not have access to video game consoles and do not have a, you know, a computer that's that powerful. And to be honest as well, we do live in an age where the minimum kind of system to play games nowadays, at least when it comes to newer games, when it's a console, a console has, you know, it's 500 US dollars, it's 750, 800 over here, something like that. Even the Switch is still 480 Australian dollars. That's a fair bit of money. Oh, I think Rebox is going to cover it. Oh, snap. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. The re Rebox is right on the ropes here. Um, but yeah, I totally do agree that the consoles cost a fair bit more, especially when, you know, there's no handheld system. We used to live in an age where... Oh, snap, yeah! Rebox is the right level! Heck yeah! You know, I'm not gonna use him right after this. Because <laughs> he's on low health, not because I don't want him. Piggy! Rebox evolved into Grumpig. Get old Grumpig. I used to think Grumpig was a bit of a downgrade, but then I'm like, bro, these stats. These stats. Look at that. Look at that special attack. 60. That's actually like less than a number of attack. Wow. That's incredible. Um, but his, his stats are pretty good, and his special defense. His special defense is very good. 85 is rather good. And he's actually. He, he'll have a lot of health. 103. A little bit above what everyone else has, and yeah. So he's gonna be a lot bulkier um, now, and that's that's really cool. I like Grumpig, he's cool. So uh, his move list may be the last one. I might rethink Psywave. Um, 
Uh, oh yeah, yeah. We'll rethink Psy Wave. Psy, yeah. <laughs> There's too many Psy moves. Um, I think I will learn Psy Kick eventually. So. Um, yeah. We still got a uh, three more evolutions going on. Uh, let's throw not a gram at the front. There we go. Let's keep going. Uh, so yeah, at some point, uh, I might see, uh, Duskull, maybe, <laughs> I don't think I will, but yeah, um, so yeah, so I, anyway, that one tweet, I do agree that, um, I didn't think this one through, did I? <laughs> it was ghosts. Uh. Um... I do agree that the barrier to entry for games is a lot higher. Um, back in the oldy Game Boy days, the Game Boy itself was very cheap. The Game Boy was certainly a lot more affordable, even though the games themselves still cost a fair bit, and the amount of length you got out of the games was actually way less than, you know, what you get now. So, who knows, you get a lot more value out of a video game these days. Um, there's also free video games if you want that, but... I'm glad I got hit five times plus a crit. And now I'm on 69 health. Um, but yeah. Now, to someone going, uh, stop gatekeeping, well, okay, this is, this is where my definition of fan starts to differ immediately, right off this one quote tweet. Um, because the, like, to be a fan, I feel like, there's a dust go. To be a fan, I feel like, requires that you have, like, engagement with the game. It's very hard for me to say you're a fan of... Um, good old TM30. I think this is actually just all the way up, um, and then back down, basically. I think that's this whole trek. But it does get you a couple of items. At least, as long as I don't die on the way. Yeah, okay, we should be good. Um, oh gosh, the bottom one or the top one? The Lax Incense, which, by the way, I always used to think the Lax Incense is what you breed... Munchlax with, as in you'd put it on a Snorlax and it would, uh, you know, it would give you a Munchlax. Uh, but no, it doesn't. Is it the bottom one or the top one? I think it is the bottom one. Yeah, the top one. Let's go out over there. Which is where you were before. I was thinking there was no, like, bridges or anything, so I have to be the bottom one. Um, but yeah, like, yeah, to me... Oh, sea incense. Well, how about I see that this uh, sh harbor mail is gone. See ya. It's unused mail as well. It's just regular mail. Nearly out. Oh, <laughs> more wild encounters. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. To, to me, I'm like, you know, you can engage with stuff. I think a lot of people in these replies... Uh, would read up on wikis and read up on a lot of lore. And uh, they might even say things like, Hey, I went to... Um, as actually a, an amazing... Um, uh, well, I think... Uh, what was this? Fruit from V Shoujo replied saying, I watched multiple people play through Five Nights at Freddy's games. Watched every video about lore and theory. Drew fan art of the characters. Went to conventions to see cosplays. Made tiny paper figures of the characters. And even used a shoebox to recreate the security office. I never played the games. Was I not a fan? And uh, I guess, yeah. There's a, there's a lot more loadedness out of that. But interestingly, I guess Five Nights at Freddy's appears a lot in this thread. Um, which makes me wonder the demographic of who actually saw this tweet. Like... There's a lot of Five Nights at Freddy's fans. I'm one person who has probably played none of the games people are mentioning in this list. Um, like, actually none of them. I've not played a Five Nights at Freddy's game. I cannot tell you that I would be a fan. I can definitely tell you I'm interested in some of these games. And I can also tell you I own some of them and I really need to get to them. Like, uh, Yakuza appears in this list. More as people pointing at Yakuza fans and going, Hey, Yakuza fans don't play the games. Which is, you know... It's a meme, sure, okay. Alright, what have I got sitting in the, the inventory? Uh... Got all the goods there. I don't need the nugget, the carbos, the wave mail, the shadow mail. I'm pretty certain... I don't need the hard stone. We'll see. Mech mail. Uh... Smoke ball, mystic water, ice incense, sea incense, yeah. 
Those incenses, uh, you'll see, like... They do some interesting things, the incenses. I don't think they're enough to, like, really swing battle. I'm actually curious how the sea incense differs from, you know, the, the mystic water. <laughs> I guess it's not as much. Sure. Okay, sure. Yeah. <laughs> um... But yeah, I... By my definition, I guess fruit here is not a, uh... It's not a Five Nights at Freddy's fan. Um... But I would also say that the, you know, playing the game is such a core part of the experience that I don't think it's quite the same as saying you're a fan, but you've never, you know, played any of the games. I don't think, like, if I was going, hey, I'm going to ask a Five Nights at Freddy's fan, should I play these games? Because that's usually what I expect a fan to have done. I usually, like, it's just an expectation for the, for the definition. Um, Usually, I wouldn't talk to people who are just talking about the lore and all that stuff. You, I mean, that's me. I don't really engage in lore content as much. Um, but yeah, like, I mean, you can be interested in it, sure. You can definitely be very excited and, and super, you know, all that stuff. That's fine. It's just, do I call it a fan? It's just semantics, I guess, if we're talking about that. But sure, okay. Um... Now, of course, uh, there's a... Uh, I also would like to mention the whole idea of uh, games being too expensive, and I mentioned that one earlier. Um, but uh, there's another quote tweet, which is directly under that first one I had. Games are incredibly expensive, but silent playthroughs made by dedicated players who want the community to also experience the games, plus story data mines, are free and open to the public. It really isn't that serious. Now, again, again, and I don't, I, I don't want to snitch. I don't want to be like, hey, publishers, look at this guy. He's stealing your content. But like, yeah, no, if a publisher heard this, they would scream. They would be very upset if like 80% of the, if, if this was representative of like the actual people who would, you know, like experience that content. And they're like, wow, 80% of them don't pay us any money and they just you know, watch someone else play it on the internet. We should crack down on streaming on the internet. That's, that's where I see that going, and I'm not too happy about, you know, that being the proudly open thing. I think that, you know, every, almost every game I play, I, I'll mention this again, almost every game I play here, I want you all to play it. Play alongside me, you know, do all this fun stuff. I like how it gets very messy as you head up this, uh, this mountain as well. Oh, this uh, thing has a goodie. There it is, Max Eva. Very nice. Um, I'm also personally of the opinion that, like, yeah, like I don't really watch playthroughs of game. I mean, granted, I I'm a producer way more than a consumer of um, you know recorded stuff on the internet. But I would also say long plays are super valuable to me because I love being able to just like scrub through and like understand various parts of games. Um, usually to remind myself, like, if I played it before. I like how that's just the door, and then, uh, here we go up here. We've got a couple of Team Aqua fellas to fight. Um, so, uh, same rules apply. Uh, Team Aqua, if they have a Zubat, it's a Zubat with Team, team Magma. Puccina is Puccina. Um... I thought I'd have something a bit more, uh, targeted, but that's how Aero Ace works. Um, the only difference is, yeah, there's going to be some Kobanas later on, uh, and they're Noobles if you're playing, um, Ruby. But it's the same levels, it's, it's all the same stuff, basically. I think this person's just got three Zubats. Very tricky and varied fight. Nice. Um, but yeah, I, again, also with the point of games are expensive, it's still that again, but... Yeah, like, I don't know, I'm, I'm of the opinion that, uh, like, I don't like the idea of spoiling yourself with story, data mines, and all that stuff, like, which, by the way, also, data mines are a little legally dubious as well. I'm perfectly, you know, I think that once a game is kind of out of its run, I think it is, you know, very fair game to start pulling apart a game and really understanding how it works and all that stuff, uh, but I, I, I you know... I'm gonna admit, it's still under intellectual property. <laughs> there's, a certain, there's a certain extent of uh, it stays inside the product. Um, I don't know, I'm a little on the fence about that one. 
Also, I don't want to sound like I'm just completely, like, defending large game companies, because I kind of feel that, like, large game companies are very, uh, you know, unsustainable. Um, for example, uh, the... All this, like, E3 stuff, or well, not E3, because E3 was cancelled, but basically all these developers had all this stuff planned to be announced at this time anyways. So they're all going for it. Um, yeah, if I had a fighting type attack, that'd be pretty good. Yeah, okay, we'll stick with the riff. Pretty sure Carbine will probably cop it, but... There you go. Oh, well, definitely in that case. Bit of a rough skin, but that's okay. And it's only three trainers as well. I don't think there's actually... I don't think you have to fight the boss. Hey, I remember you from Mount Chimney. It's payback time! Um, especially because, we, I mean, we fought a, you know, a Team Aqua person in the Weather Institute, and there's another, like, you know, Team Aqua kind of dungeon before you even get to the next gym. There's a fair bit going on before you actually get there. Man, these Carvanas are weak, aren't they? Uh, let's see, is there another interesting tweet going on? Okay, yeah, there's weird stuff like this. I don't know, I get... There's a bit of contradictory that comes from multiple different people as well. Uh, someone's like, I'll have you know I've spent more hours watching Five Nights at Freddy's lore videos than it would take to play all the games myself. So... Yeah, because... No, no, uh, let, me, let me see if I can find some other... other ones. Um, but I'm very certain I saw someone say, like, I don't have time to play a 69-hour a long JRPG. Here we go, here's Weatherball. Uh, well, okay, so my strat for cast form is that he's going to be a rain uh, one. So how about let's get rid of Sunny Day, because that is, like, the key one I'm not going to have. And then at least I get both the water and the, the ice going on here. Beaten by some kid again. Um, but yeah, like, the time argument is an interesting one. Also, not to you again. You've impeded our plans repeatedly, but this time you're too late. The red orb that rested atop Mount Pyre. I, Archie, claim it as mine. Foo 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 foo. Finally, I can realize my grand design. Come on, crew, it's Slateport next. Oh no, this cannot happen. How could they take the red orb, the blue orb, and the red orb? They'll never be separated. They belong together. You should have glued them together. Ultra hand them, bro. Fine, you take the remaining blue orb. Please take a... Take off that film, man, and get the other orb back. Okay, sure, just give the kid the orb. Okay. Mount Byra is where we calm the spirits of Pokemon that have passed on. This is a high place where one can see all of our The disembodied spirits of Pokemon must find solace here. Is it coincidence that you are here? Will you hear up my tale? A tale long told in the Hoenn region. Oh boy, here we go. It happened long, long ago. The world was racked by a ferocious clash between the Pokemon of the sea and the Pokemon of the land. The Pokemon of the sea raised huge waves and carved out oceans. The Pokemon of the land raised mountains and created continents. Their fierce duel raged without end. The world was engulfed in massive infernos and vicious storms. The blue orb and the red orb brought an end to the calamity. Light poured from the two orbs and becalmed the enraged adversaries. The pair made docile, dove deep into the sea where eventually they disappeared. Okay, sure. I'm pretty sure they hid, like, some stuff. Maybe around here? Maybe. Uh, I would also like to add, right in, like, any of these grass bits, just on the summit part, there's a 2% chance you'll find a Pokemon called Chimeco. I used to call him Chimecho a bunch, but no, it's Chimeco. It's a very neat kind of psychic type going on. It's cool. I like him. Uh, I think it's the only place you can get them as well, so it is a rare find. 2%. Very, very low. I just realized I got Shadow Ball. Do I want to teach Shadow Ball to anyone? I think I memed it. I meme wrote it down, but I don't know if I actually want Shadow Ball yet. Okay. We'll keep it on, the, on hold for the moment. I don't know if there's anything else going on here. Oh, maybe there is. A lot of weird little interesting cuts around here. Uh, but yeah, no. I'll make my way down, and I think I've got probably a fair bit of health. I can probably keep going south. This would have been easier if I had a uh, fly, though, I'll tell you that. Goodbye, missed. I'll miss you. Uh, <laughs> very funny me. Um, 
Volvix up here? Did I write that down? Oh yeah, there is Volvix. There's Volvix here! How cool is that? There's also Metatites, uh... Your ghost type of choice and a 10% chance of Wingulls, yet again. Just on the outside bit there. But a 20% chance of Volpix, so it's not that rare. I just forgot he was there. That's pretty cool. Uh, so anyway, there's one more route that's south of here. And this is the bit that connects back onto the start there. <laughs> I don't know why you gotta surf there, but yeah, Route 123. And I don't have cut on me. Done. I can't remember what was over there, so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to remember. Uh, yeah. Other than that, it's gonna be a couple more trainers, and then uh, we'll keep wandering around a bit. Um, but yeah, the time argument's weird because it's like on the one hand, if the game takes like. This one's a weird one. It's like, I love grass type Pokemon. I do have... I, I do have a grass type Pokemon, I get. Oh, no, I don't, actually. Interesting, yeah. I guess I'm not rocking a grass type this time around. I forgot. Not the Hexagon Maniac. Matt Pyre, where the spirits of Pokemon sleep. Will your Pokemon sleep? They sleep a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, for the, for the time argument, if you spend enough time, you're a fan. If you don't spend enough time... You're you're basically going oh like I never had enough time to you know to play that game, but you know watching videos on it you know I'm a fan now. Like I say that again, you don't have to beat a game. Although I would I would also say uh, maybe you have to get a lot through it if you want to be considered a fan in my eyes. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, this is probably the key counterexample that someone mentions, and I actually think that this is. Uh, well, not the key counter. There's a lot of key counter examples, but this one's an interesting one. Uh, you get the the tweets that are trying to pull a reverse one. And go, yeah, but this doesn't count. Um, so they go. Somehow, it's never an issue with sports when someone is, for example, a big hockey fan, but doesn't play hockey themselves, just watches the games, and literally no one bats an eye. But God forbid, it's the same with video games. Now, this is something different because hockey, the consumer media is the spectator angle. That's, I think, the, the key thing here. Hockey and most sports in general. Like, I watch Formula One. Uh, like, clearly, there's only 20 guys on the track. And it's the same 20 guys every week. I'm not gonna be the, the guy who's like, Oh, you're not a fan if you're not driving a car. Um, you can be definitely interested in, like, you know, Formula One as a spectator media. That's kind of the thing that's sold to you. Is selling tickets to watch the Formula One. I, I would say you're much less a fan if you're not watching Formula One. You can still read it, sure, but I would highly encourage you, you should be watching it, sure. Um, that's my sales pitch, there you go. I would like to remind everyone I am completely unsponsored. There is, there is no product placement. This is just the things that I, I, you know, I engage in. The stuff that I'm interested in. Um, so, a video game, the consumed media, the sold, the media that is sold to you, is, um... Man, I got, I got nothing that amazing. Steel on steel, flying... I got a cast form. Let's double up cast form. So, Weather Ball is a pretty cool attack, as long as he survives. Uh, I'm gonna go to Rain Dance mode. Weather Ball is cool. It's a normal type attack with 50 power, which isn't too amazing. But when he is in a special form, he the power is double. Now, the one catch is that Cast Form has now changed his type, which means he doesn't have Stab anymore. Um, so that means this, you know, this is still a... Oh, it was normal. Hold on. I'm going to look it up. I'm very certain the type didn't, you know, doesn't change on the move, but... Ah, oh, cool trainer, of course. Uh, because damage category, uh... Oh, it does change, it does change type. Okay, so it's always got the stab. Never mind. It actually does change type. Um, it also does change to a sandstorm type. So, okay, so it's normal, um, type usually. Uh, if the... If it's sunny, it's fire type. If it's raining, it's water type. If it's uh, hailing, it's ice type. And if there's a sandstorm, it's actually rock type. Which is good fun. Um, so I'm going to stay in. Because now, 
what I can do, at least right at the moment. And this is the kind of fun thing about cast form, is that you can now, you know, switch to hail, and now I have an ice type attack. Let's chill on it. Ah, let's see what I did there. Oh, you thought he could catch me out with that Mega Drain? You still might be able to, but... Um... So, uh... Yeah, so I guess, yeah, this changes type. And then, yeah, Weather Ball uh, becomes a 100 power attack when there's weather. Which is very neat. That's a very cool attack. Uh, Pelipper. Is Ice good against Pelipper? Maybe. We'll just keep it going, I guess. Um, the damage category does depend on the type, so that means that um, when it's normal type, it actually becomes a physical attack. Um, But it's like, yeah, this is this is the gist of cast form. You basically just give yourself this hundred power attack that you can keep kind of throwing at people. Um, and uh, there's some other things you can do. Like, I'm not going to rely 100 percent on Weather Ball. I think he, you know, cast form can probably have um, a bit more move variety going on. And I don't want him to be 100 percent set up. Um, I do have ideas of whether I want to either teach just an Ice-type move, or if I want to, like, have him, um, you know, cast Hail, so he's, uh, weather, you know, he's doing the, uh, Ice-type Weather Ball. I'm curious. I, I, I've not yet figured that one out. Um, but yeah, uh, so anyway, yeah, so, so, sports, the consumer media is, uh, you know, Buying the buying the tickets to go and see the okay. Also, am I out of the barrel ways already? I've been spamming that so much. Okay, let's just switch over to Sedimenta. Have a crack. Sedimenta. This will be good because he's got a got that special defense. Oh snap! Where's that special? Oh, he's physical defense, isn't he? You got Ember. You might have the Sedimenta. Maybe. Still, he might be, need the experience share again. Oh, we're switching back. What are we switching to? Oh, good old Lunatone. I don't think Sedimentile's having a good time here. Oh well. Uh, so, yeah, when it comes to playing a video game, I think there is a perfectly, like, reasonable... Not sorry. If I say reasonable, it's like me weaseling around. But like, there there is a degree of you don't experience the full thing that is sold to you as a consumer when you don't play the game. Even if you pirate, I'll at least say like, hey, you know, you're experiencing the product as it's sold. People don't make video games for you to watch someone else play them. They make them for you to experience them. And there's a lot of games out there where it's like if you don't play it, you don't get conveyed the experience. There is a lot of that. Um, I would also then say, yeah, so I, a home media, it's like, um, if example, and someone actually, I think, in the replies to this one in particular said, um, oh, okay, I guess it got deleted. Cool. Okay. <laughs> I thought I saw it earlier, but, uh, it was basically like, um, like the person is saying you can't be a fan if you, uh, or they're, they're trying to like provide a counter and say like, well, you can't be a fan if you're like partially, um, all right, Reebok is getting a lot of love, so I'll take, oh, it's a quick call, wait a minute. Oh, Cosmo's got the, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna give it to Sedimentar again. I think Sedimentar still needs the... The love. I forgot which level Riff Raff uh, gains. That's what I know it's wrong. There we go. What level does he learn stuff? 37. Okay, he takes forever to get, get anything. Uh, but yeah, no, let's, uh, let's go rebox and nonogram. The sweep. Look at that, another, another double battle. Getting all of them, apparently. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, what's one of the moves? I had Fury Cutter as one of my moves. I don't think it's, like, worthwhile in any way, but... Look at this. Look at these two fellas. You know, you know exactly what I can do, like, just both of these. Oh, Rebox is just gonna, like, annihilate this beautifully. Wow, So good, so good. Um... But yeah, I, I would say, like, the counter example would be, imagine if you were a music fan, you, were, you enjoyed a band, but the only experience you had of the band was MIDI covers of their songs. I think the idea is that in music, it's not only the composition of the song itself, but the performance is also another angle. Um, you could still say MIDI music can be enjoyed, perhaps there's something towards the delivery of MIDI music that is the meaningful part of a song, sure. But I think there's a lot of, like, you know, there's a lot of music out there where it's like the performance and, uh, you know, the delivery. That's the same, same word twice. The performance of music is very important to the overall, um, you know, impact of the music. If you don't, if you don't have the performance, then, you know, you're lacking a key component. You can still enjoy fair bits of it, but, you know, it's not the full picture. And I don't know if you're exactly a fan of a band just because you, you haven't, you know, you're not experiencing the full, the full picture. I don't know, that's something to me, I don't know. Um, you could say maybe if you're listening to excerpts, but like, I guess the idea is that with MIDI music, you're listening to the full songs in those contexts but you're not listening to the same interpretations of the, or the same, um, formats, I guess, we'll say. I might as well just walk to Slakeport at this rate. We'll have another crack at the, the cycling road. Um... I guess I can heal. I don't think you actually have to fight anyone when you get here. I think it's just witnessing a cutscene, but it's remarkably late of a cutscene, I don't know. Like, why do you have to go to Slateboard City anyways? They could've just gone, oh, we've got our secret base outside Lily Cove, because that's where you were. Instead, they're like, oh, we gotta go to Slateport, and you're gonna see how kind of pointless this whole bit is. Okay. Now, I know there's no reward for doing well, but there is a retro achievement for doing this perfectly without, like, touching anyone. Oh, dang it, I was so close. I was so close. Oh. Getting there, like, real quick and without touching anyone. And if you can nail that, you know, you win. You win the achievement. So, uh, all these people chilling here. Hi there. Yes, indeed, we intend to move ahead with our exploration. That's wonderful, Captain Joe. Thank you for taking the time from your busy schedule to talk to us. We hope we can interview you again with news and more discoveries. See ya! Whew! That was my first time being filmed for TV. That was nerve-wracking. Oh, Bando, you're looking great. We made a huge discovery on our last seafloor exploration. We found an underwater cavern on Route 128. We think it's the habitat of a Pokemon that's said to have been long extinct. F you, F you, F you, Captain Stern, I presume. We of Team Aqua will assume control of your submarine. Your objections are meaningless. We expect your total cooperation. Just watch and learn what Team Aqua has planned. Hmm? What's that all about? Sound like someone was using a megaphone. Where did it come from? It's from the harbor. The submarine, they're trying to take it. <laughs> yeah, they're just chilling here. <laughs> I commiserate with you. All that effort you spent following me here, all the way from Mount Pyre. But now, no one can stop us. No one will you follow us back to our hideout in Lily Cove City. <laughs> yeah, like literally, did they have to show you this? Why would Team Aqua steal my submarine, Explorer One? They can't be after the slumbering Pokémon at the bottom of the sea. But even enough for it to chase them, I don't stand a chance against them. So yeah, literally, you have to witness them. Seal in the submarine, and then you just gotta go all the way back to Lily Cove, which is basically halfway across the map. Nice. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. The worst part as well is that I'm gonna switch Wingo on, and then I'm gonna proceed to switch Wingo out immediately afterwards because uh, I don't need to fly anywhere after that, so. Well, I think this may be the time I'm gonna have to fight that rival.
And this is gonna be terrifying because, uh... Mm, the rival's got a bit more juice. It's not actually too much more compared to the last, like, time. And it was a three-hour stream, so it has actually been, like, three hours, yeah. But yeah, no, this is, this is gonna be a bit of a... Bit of a battle. Bit of a trek. Um, okay, so I'm probably gonna start off with... Yeah, Rebox will be a good start. We'll see how this goes. Ah. Uh, without an evolved Pokemon. Actually, my starter is the same level as their starter now. That's gonna be interesting. I could start burning some rare candies now, but... Oh, hey, it's Bino. I'm running an errand for my dad. No, I'm not buying any dolls. Anyway, it's been a while. Wanna have a battle? Let's see who's been... At least he asks you. You know I'm not gonna lose a no being though. So here comes rival battle number four, I think. He finds it a couple of times in this game. Starts off with Swallow. Everyone's got a Swallow. Uh, also, did he have a Swallow last time? I don't think he did. He's got Quick Attack, Wing Attack, Endeavor, and Double Team. Uh, let's hit it with a Shockwave. Oh, he did have, yeah. I do remember the Double Team spam. Pretty bulky. Oh, you're switching out. You're going to Grovile. Okay, so Grovile, his uh, starter here has Leaf Blade, Screech, Fury Cutter. That's you gotta watch out for Fury Cutter and Pursuit. Um, Pursuit is Dark type, which is actually not great for Grumpy. Uh, I will switch over to um, I guess Sedimenta. I have a have a crack at it. Jeez, I was, yeah. I'm thinking. Mm. Got a couple of Pokemon, but I feel like the Grovile is gonna kind of wreck. Uh... Yeah. Here comes Leaf Blade. Yeah, it's a bit of damage. I hope this Ember will do. Ember, Ember will do okay. And now he's just switching out. He's probably gonna switch to Whalma. There it is. Whalma knows Mist, Astonish, Water Pulse, and Whirlpool. Uh, the Whalema also appears if uh, your trainer has Trico, if it, it, sorry, if you have Trico uh, and they have uh, Combuskin. Um, if uh, they have Marsh Tomp, it's still got Mud Shot, Mud Sport, Foresight, and Takedown. If they have Combuskin, they still have Double Kick, Bulk Up, Sand Attack, and Peck. So they still don't have Water and Fire type attacks for both of those, respectively. Um, I'm curious what I should do. Might be able to win Castle Man. Might be able to wing him. But he's gotta set up. He's gotta actually set up. And I worry this Whalema is gonna kinda. Uh, okay. Let's, let's drop the hail. Change the form. He's got miss, which is gonna make it a little awkward to hit him, but. Listen, I don't mind him buying a turn. Because I actually feel as well that, like. Castform is actually. Kind of the type coverall right now. He's he should do okay, and he's fast. Well, faster at least. Yeah, Water Ball isn't the greatest thing, but I don't think this is actually working. Dang it! <laughs> I forgot Ice Ice type. I could get a crit, maybe. It's a bit of damage, but. That's faster damage out there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, let's pull let's pull a, a Swifty. Let's go back to Rebox. Get that special defense out. I'm amazed that neither of us have taken out any of our Pokemon. Yeah, that's special defense, baby! It's good stuff, Rebox. Do I go in with Shockwave or do I just go on? No, yeah, Shockwave. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, I don't have Psychic yet. I don't have a strong attack. There you go. There's one. One down. Cool. Uh, everyone got everyone got some love there. Grovile. Who are we going to send out to beat Grovile? Um, yeah, let's go back with Sedimentar, I guess. I was actually going to do anything to, to counter um, Ninjask, but. 
There we go. Okay, let's get him with the, the Ember. Because he used um, a move to reduce my defense before. Uh, he might kill me next turn. Please burn him? Dang it. Nah, he's probably just gonna kill me. Dang it, Sedimenta! He's still six levels off being uh, glorious. Well. Oh, at least he gets burned now, so. Sure, okay. To the nonogram! I haven't been using him all stream, have I? He's just been, you know, chilling, chilling at the back. Uh, Anorath is kind of awkwardly not quite the right type. Swallow, uh, I should be able to take out the Swallow. The wing attack will kill me, but I might be able to just take out the Swallow, just right away. Yeah, heck yeah. See, now I'm getting some strats going on. Now I'm getting some stuff going on. And, uh, Numel. Hey, you know what? I've given everyone else some love. Riff Raff, now's your chance. You might be thinking, oh, okay. Uh, for reference, uh... Numel's got Amnesia, Magnitude, Focus Energy, and Takedown, and I don't have to fight against a Shroomich, which knows Headbutt, Poison Powder, Leech Seed, and Mega Drain. Uh, the other... If... <laughs> if they... If... Yeah, they get a Shroomish, uh... So they're not other stuff, so... Now, I know my, uh... Special attack isn't very high, but I was thinking, ah, you know, you get the double. Ooh. That's gonna make this kind of awkward. I'm curious if Aerialize actually does more damage. That's kind of a good amount. Oh, he got Magnitude Ford. Oof. Oof. Just no damage. You know, that was not as bad as I was expecting. I was expecting us to kick my butt, and I think it's because I've got, like, an evolved Pokemon and a bit more levels going on. We've done a lot of raising. That stings a bit. I had a head start on you as a trainer. That is true. Feel bad about it, please. I... I plan on going home to Little River. You know I'm helping out my dad on his spooky deck, so I'm coming together pretty decently. I should go show him. What are you gonna do? Collect all the gym badges and take the Pokemon Leech out? Maybe I'll do that too. Well, see ya. See ya. There you go, so now you can go to the department store. And there's a guy who's apparently selling art. Ooh. So, Lily Cove is your big city of the game. There's, uh, lots of stuff here. Like a museum, I guess. I believe the museum has... Yeah, this guy has an exhibit, and I believe he, uh... It's alright. Just paint it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like paint? May I ask you to come with me? Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is where he puts all these um, paintings here. Yeah, classical work you can see on the ground floor. I wish your exhibit work that is far different from the classics. Art, after all, is not restricted to old, famous works. This exhibit hall, I wish to fulfill it with modern and vibrant artworks of Pokemon seemingly ready to spring forth in a glorious life. I beg your pardon, I didn't intend to monopolize the conversation. Now, as you're young and yet obviously well traveled, you must encounter lively Pokemon and works of art depicting them. If you were to come across such a painting, I may ask you to obtain the artist's permission to exhibit it here. Okay, sure. Um, so I think. Uh, how this works is that you literally give him, like, five paintings for each of the five contests. You have to max out the contest, win the highest contest, and then you get a painting in your Pokemon. I think that's it. And then I uh, gives you a thing for your secret base, I think. So, anyway, we got a department store. Everyone likes department stores. Hello there. And you can do the lottery! Heck yeah! So if the ID matches any of your thing, then, you know, you get the big monies. And of course, if you get all five numbers exactly the same, you get a Master Ball, which is amazing. I, I'm unlucky today, so... I think that's a fair bit you can... Uh, what was it? Two digits PP up, three digits experience share. That's interesting getting another experience share. Because <laughs> it doesn't exactly add more experience, it just splits the experience share half evenly amongst the people with experience shares. Very odd to have malt, more than one. Uh, four is a max revive, and then five is a master ball, yeah. Uh, I don't think they really sell anything like that weird, but uh, they do sell. Fluffy Tail is kind of weird, to be honest. Um, they do sell a bunch of moves on the, uh, fourth floor, I think? 
And uh, some of those moves are very useful, I'll just say. So, all the good stuff, the X items, the, you know, <laughs> the vitamins, is that what they're called? I think it is the vitamins. I mean, it's like protein and stuff, yeah. And here we go. So here's the special moves. Uh, what have we got up here? I'm very certain this is uh, Protect. Can't recall that one off the top of my head. Uh, reflect and uh, Light Screen. So I think I have Reflect as like a move I want to teach my cargo, but... I don't know, I'm still thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Because I realize I'm only going to have like one attacking move on him, so... Uh, and then this is Fire Blast, uh, Thunder... Is that Thunder or Thunderbolt? Um, Blizzard, and uh, Hyper Beam. All are interesting attacks. I have enough money to start considering getting them. I'm not too sure if I exactly want them yet. I also don't know if Hyper Beam is exactly the move for me, so I'll keep thinking about it more. And then on the fifth floor here, we have... Uh, lots of things for your, your secret base, which is very neat. Still lots of things, like lots of dolls here. No, <laughs> the guy was like, I wasn't, wasn't buying dolls. What did you take me for? Seriously, it's a, it's a lot of them. We've got posters. And last but not least, some mats. Very nice stuff. And it keeps going. That's right, we have a rooftop where you can buy everyone's favorite, the lemonade. Oh, I'm bone dry thirsty. What are you doing up on up here? Don't they have set dates for their clear out sales? I watch TV, but they never show any commercials. That is very interesting. Um. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Department store, just you know, it's big. Uh, what else we got going on in this uh, city of cities? It's actually not like too big a city as well. I think it's just because it stretches out east a fair bit. We have the move to leader's house, which is fairly straightforward. Uh, if you have a HM and you don't want to teach that HM anymore, that's how you remove it. Uh, There's a guy who just tells old, you know, old people don't understand. Got team aqua people chilling out. You know, this is a fun place. Hi there. Oh, what's it? I'm not near a wicket. You can have this. Cool. Which one's this one? Is this... Yawn? I guess it is Yawn. Or is it Rest? Is that Yawn or Rest? Oh, this Rest. Cool. I don't think I have Rest as a strat on any of my Pokemon. I don't think it's... <laughs> it's not easy to pull off Rest in single player. Not unless you got a real bulky Pokemon. Then you can get away with it. Oh, excuse me. I'm gonna steal... Hey! I can't see the TV! <laughs> Double the guess by using Pokemon as attractions. Oh, sorry, I was too involved watching the TV. Since that Team Aqua came to town, the tourists have been staying away. Oh, that is a shame. Look how much, like... I guess this is a hotel, isn't it? Imagine, like, 16 people just sleeping on these little, like, chairs. It's a motel, yeah. And, uh, they got a contest hall, because why not? Um... I forgot which one is this one. I think this is the... Is that the last contest hall, actually? I think it is. When my wife gave birth to quadruplets, you bet I was shocked. Now seeing them play together with their Game Boy Advance trademark makes me happy. I'm a master of Pokeblocks. If I get serious a little, well, I can concoct great Pokeblocks. Okay, sure. You ready? If you look at Pokeblocks, you should see that they are rated on how they feel. The lower the feel rating, the better it is. Don't forget this, a good Pokeblock has a low feel rating and a high level. A Pokemon can eat more good Pokeblocks than ordinary ones, too. This is important. If you want to make smooth Pokeblocks, use different kinds of berries. Don't be stingy. The kinds of berries affect the smoothness of Pokeblocks. And another thing, the more people blending berries, the smoother the Pokeblocks. That's why you should talk to other people. That is true, and that's something where it's like, I feel like... You, like, if you want to have a Grand Slam Pokemon, which I think there's an achievement in Retro Arc, Retro achievements for that. Um, to have one Pokemon, like, have all the contest medals. Looking for a ship? Well, the very service isn't present. Oh my gosh, really? Sure, yeah. Yeah, there's not actually too much to... To see here. Interesting. Oh, wait, I think there's actually one guy. There's one other guy. One last guy. I forgot to talk to this random old man. 
He gives you a berry. He gives you a different berry every day of the week, apparently. Or whatever. Uh, would you say you're a fan of Pokemon? I am indeed a fan of Pokemon. It is because I actually play the games. Thank you very much, my man. <laughs> Appreciate it. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so let's heal up and uh, let's take on... Let's take on Team Aqua at the, the, the secret hideout. So this hideout is, like, slightly different depending on the the game you're playing. I think the encounters are still, you know, the same, I guess. But it is an interestingly different layout. I'm a fan to watch my favorite streamer play it. I guess that makes you a fan of me, doesn't it? Pull the reversal on you. So anyway, uh, yeah, so we go in here. Team Aqua is still blocking the way out east, so you can't keep going, but, uh... They would have been blocking here before, and now they're not. They just let you sail in. So, uh, here we are, the Team Aqua hideout. There are actually no wild Pokémon. I lie, there's... there's two Electrodes chilling somewhere. This got jamming music as well. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be a fight to the death of trying to take out various... Um, did I give, I gave him the, did I give him the experience share? I did, yeah. So, riff, yeah, let's go with the riffraff at the front. Just Pokemon? Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Other than that, we're going to be walking around defeating more Team, Team Aqua people. But remarkably, they are not evolved. Ay! Suspicious character spot. Oh my gosh. Song is but it is a bop, yeah. Weirdly, like, I feel like by this point in the game, they got these weird tiles underneath them as well. I don't know what's going on here. Weirdly, at this point in the game, I would have expected them to start evolving their Pokemon, and they just don't. They they continue to use Poochinas, uh, Zubats, and Carvanas, and all of them should have evolved by now. All of them should be so much, like, high level, high, you know, whatever, but... Um, yeah, it seems that the evolved forms are kind of exclusively held by the leaders, or the, the admins, and, uh, for me getting... I should have switched out. Okay. That's in his funeral, I guess. He, uh, he asked for me to send out nonograms, so out I go. He's gonna use the Poochie. I think the one thing is, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, uh, but off the top of my head, I think this cave actually closes up once you're done with it, and that means there is a very important item you do not want to miss. <laughs> top items in Pokemon Sapphire you do not want to miss. Uh, number 7 will surprise you. Uh, okay, see, so, yeah, here's the problem. It's uh, one of these kind of kinds of dungeons. You know, the ones where you just kind of step on the things and hope that you're going the right way. I don't think, it's not too many floors, but it is kind of like, you know, it goes all over the place. We got little tables. Whatever these are. Uh, I think we've got five trainers total, so keep keeping watch over the hideout bores me. Or well, six trainers, I think. Six trainers. Uh, it's just like watch, watching Watch Mojo. These lists. Dude, okay, I don't know what's with, like, lists of, um, like, uh, I don't, I don't know, I, I feel, are we past the era of, like, the list kind of content? I guess Watch Mojo still exists. Ranker, do we got Ranker? Maybe it's me, because I, I stopped watching YouTube too much, but, um, I will say I have gotten very peeved off by YouTube changing uh, the layout of the subscriptions feed. I used to not use the homepage, because the homepage would keep recommending you, um, like, I mean, I'm calling it an ad. Uh, I guess it's content that is, like, catered towards me, a recommendation, but, like, there's a lot of it which is just like, oh, you know, this is not what I'm subscribed to. I, I only really want to watch the stuff I'm subscribed to. Uh, and I guess YouTube is, like, okay with that, but... Here comes Kavana. Just remind me, ice is not good against water. No. Oh, he's scaring me. That's very scary. I didn't like that. Uh, okay, time to back out and... 
Yeah, too bad my special attack is uh, all not great against water. Yeah, I'm starting to realize my type coverage is actually kind of scuffed. Whoever, like, six streams ago, like, called that out, thank you. Thank you. I wish I paid attention. Oh, at least I can use Shockwave on Garvana here. No biggie. Also, Team Aqua, and here I am using a fire type on my team. I wanted to, like, what is it with, with me and fire types? Because I had, um, Growlithe in, in, when I was playing Pokemon Gold, and you couldn't evolve Growlithe until well after the game was done. Like, you had to go into the post game in order to get a Firestone. So it wasn't really, like, that amazing. And I didn't have a fire type when I did my Pokemon Blue team. I've not had good luck with fire types. There's, there's less than luck, it's more just me pick, not picking Torchic, I guess. He's called a grunt because he grunts. I keep, I keep using Aerial Ace and it's purely because I am super afraid of what Steel is apparently like weak to or not weak to now. Like, hold on, like Zubat, I'm thinking in my head, oh, he should be fine. And I think he is. Like, hold on, what, what is Steel weak to? When I attack, it's super effective against Ice and Rock, and not very effective against Electric, Fire, Steel, and Water, which is unfortunately a lot of things. Like this guy. I can't deal with that. Okay, right, Electric, Fire, Steel, and Water. So basically, yeah, yeah okay, the four types I expect same type and then like okay well steel gets wet I guess so it's weak to that um, water isn't strong uh, attacking a defending one it's actually weak isn't it no oh, no it's normal effectiveness it's normal effectiveness yeah gosh me learning the type coverage again oh Puccina Pucci Pucci Uh, you can't scare me. I realize I'm still just using Shockwave on this Puccino. Poor Puccino, I swear. Yeah, let's go back to, to Refraff. Let's get him some goods. So yeah, so... Okay, on the list of Pokemon that are yet to evolve, we still have Refraff, which evolves at level 40. It's a bit away. But it's not, like, impossibly too far away. It's just... A bit. And, uh, Magmar is level 38, and... Marsh Tomp, I have not been sending out much this stream. He hasn't... Did he level up to 35? I don't think I've sent him out that much. It's just because he's high level already. He needs to evolve before, uh, the next gym, I'll tell you that. Let's just say, there's a submarine! Okay. Why, why'd you say that? Oh, no, he hasn't evolved yet, no. He's getting there, but... Sorry, level up, not evolve. Uh, I'm trying to remember which way. I think that is the way to go. So, I think. Because I know that there's actually another way to get back up. Okay, well, I guess I'm forced to go that way, and I guess I'm forced to go that way, and I guess I'm forced to go that way. I guess I'm not forced to go that way, go back to that one, except it goes back a different way, so, uh, go down to the bottom. Here is the money! There's an electrode right here. <laughs> Thank you, electrode. Appreciate it. Uh, do I just run away? I don't think you can really run away from electrode. He's just gonna, like, wreck your day, apparently. Oh no, I'm using metal core and electric type. I wasn't paying attention, oh no! <laughs> uh, okay, who would be better against an electric type? Kipperoni, actually. He's got the ground type. Gosh, Screech is, Screech is very annoying. Oh, he got, he got outplayed. Uh, do I have any other things here? Um, Yeah, I'm gonna read out another one of these quote tweets, so... As a person who, whenever Ken buys and pre-orders games because I love to play them myself, 
you people are insufferable and should realize not everyone can effing afford or doesn't have the source to play certain games. And then they use the sob emoji, um, which I thought was kind of interesting. Uh, never mind classic Twitter, you know, grammatical mistakes all over the place. Um, yeah, the people took it real personal when it's like, oh, you can't afford the games. It's like, I mean, I don't want to encourage piracy, but I totally am like, like, legit, anyone can run Pokemon on their phones. Anyone. It is willpower if you haven't figured that one out. Like, it is very easy to figure that out. Um, I say this purely just because I've been through finding out how to do this. I don't exactly, like, I mean, you know, if you, if you have struggles, maybe, okay. If you're on a Chromebook, I guess you can access Twitter, and I have no idea how you actually, you know, install emulators on your device. Get all the way here. There's the Master Ball. You need it. It's very important. The Master Ball catches any Pokemon that you throw it at. That's the only one in the game, though, except for whoever the heck keeps giving them out in the lottery. Very important you, you, you get that, though, because I'm very certain you can't come back here. Um, and yeah, if you can, then okay, sure. Um, but yeah, no, these people, like, a lot of people apparently broke, according to Twitter. I don't know what's going on there, but sure. I grew weary of waiting. Uh, what else we got? Uh, what else we got? Uh, lots of people mentioned Danganronpa. Now, I'm someone who hasn't played Danganronpa, and I'm a big fan of it. Um... Uh, no, I, I don't know. I, I, like, I know some Let's Players that I follow have played Danganronpa on their channels. I have not actually watched them play any of them. Um, I don't exactly, like, to me, I thought Danganronpa is um, close to visual novel in the same sense that, like, Phoenix Wright is, or Ace Attorney is a, um, you know, very close to being a visual novel because there is so, I mean, mechanically it's very similar, um, and uh, there's a lot of just story you're clicking through. That is the whole, you know, gist of the game. And that's fine as a game. And to be honest as well, we get into this interesting kind of discussion of how, like, some games, uh, you know, like a visual novel, I can actually say, yeah, you know, if you do watch someone play through a visual novel, you do get way more of an idea of the game than someone who, you know, uh, well, sorry, than, than other games would give you, I guess. Um, but I would also then say, fuel supply, oh my gosh. He's not knocking out my Pokemon, he's knocking me out. He's out to get me, I guess. Here comes the Carvana. I keep sending Riff Raff out, even though it's a Carvana. I've got one answer for Carvana, apparently. And it is my, you know... I taught him Shockwave for this reason. I knew I'd be going up against enough water types to realize I need at least an electric type attack. I should have chucked a grass type attack on someone. I'm gonna look into that, just see if like someone can learn a fun you know grass attack. Uh let's go back to Refraff. Let's get him some love. These trainers haven't really gotten like that scarily high in level either. Maybe this is a... You know, too early to say. Oh, confused right. Maybe this is too early to say, but uh... I mean, even the, even the admin only has a uh, level 32 Pokemon. So, I don't know, I might be able to just like... Wing this a bit? Ah, oh, unless Refraff takes it. I am gonna fight all the trainers back out, heal, and then come back for the... the, the leader. Or I back out and heal now. Maybe I back out and heal now. It's one Zubat, how bad could it be? I took a serious licking. Uh, any other fun quote tweets that we can, uh... Uh, make fun of, I guess. Um, oh yeah, yeah, so, so Dank and Romper, yeah, sure, maybe I can accept that, although I haven't played it and I can't tell you, um, exactly if, uh, watching it spoils it. But I will say, uh, somewhere in the in the, the quote tweets, I saw someone mention Animal Crossing New Horizons and Stardew Valley, and I'm like, no. Like, 
listen, I, if, okay, if someone's gonna accuse me of gatekeeping, I will flat out say, you do not, like, have, you can be knowledgeable on how Animal Crossing New Horizon works, but, like, I wanna ask you, how do you feel about the game? You have no idea when you don't play Animal Crossing. That game is so randomized that you need your own experience to really tell, like, how, you know, how much fun you had, like, that kind of stuff. You can definitely enjoy someone else's streams of it, and, uh, or gameplay of it. I know Chaka Conroy has played through it. That's fine. I, I love the idea of him telling his own story of the game. But yeah, I would also say, like, you watching it does not replace playing the game. Like, I guess, and I guess this is where we go into the whole semantics thing, because it's like, well, are you still a fan of the game? I don't know, it depends on how you define fan, and I guess, yeah, like, if you just say, hey, I enjoy the content of the game. Sure, okay, I guess then, you, yeah, you are a fan. But to me, it's like, what I expect fans of the game to be able to say, what are your favorite things you've done? And then say, like, oh, I haven't played the game. Oh, okay. But I guess that's the gist of it. I, I don't quite understand calling people fans when I can't ask them that. I can't have a conversation with them. Because... You know, they, they just haven't played the game. Uh, and then you get, yeah, you get stuff like this. MFs expect you to own every console of all generations and every console exclusive games like they cost three chicken McNuggets. Anything that is not like a railroad game watching is not the same as playing if your direct actions affect how players and outcomes watching... Uh, sorry, how players or outcomes watching is not the same. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, if it's railroaded, you know, it, okay, sure, I see what you mean. Is there something in the trash can? Dang it. Yeah. This one person is like, oh, you expect me to own every game? Okay, we, we never talked about owning every game now, and this is like another weird one. A lot of people in the thread, when they say they're broke, I thought they were like, oh, like legit? Like you can't just emulate Pokemon? No, they keep talking about like they can't buy brand new $120 video games. I swear Starfield is a hundred and twenty Australian dollars. I bought uh, Pokemon uh, Scarlet for 48 by the way. I would just like to add that. Like nothing if you do changes anything about the game. Sure, watch gameplay. Yeah, like I think, yeah, there's, there is a degree of um, uh, story. If the story doesn't really change uh, between different like playthroughs, you could totally say, hey, I experienced the story um, more of an enjoyer than a fan. Oh, exactly. I think the, the derogatory term people would say is tourist. Um, although tourist also implies that, like, you recently just got into it, whereas... Uh, but you know what I mean? It's like there is a degree of, like, you know, your experience is not the same. You enjoy this content. Are you a fan? I guess it depends on, yeah, how we define fan. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Oop. Is this the guy? Is this actually the... I think this is the guy I have to fight. Well, I would love to open with, uh... Anorith? Anorith? I'm gonna say Anorith. I'd like to open with him, but I think, uh, Rebox with a Shockwave seems to be the de facto strat right now. Eh, eh, get her already, did ya? We underestimated you, but this is it! I'm gonna cut up the grunts you've seen so far. I'm not stalling for time, I'm gonna pulverize you! I think we've fought this guy before, I think. And he's got a Carvana, so... Okay, so this is actual your your gym boss fight. Um, actually, I think the battles are mostly the same, so... Anyway, we start off with a Carvana. It's got Bite, Focus Energy, Rage, and Scary Face. Uh, the Bites are going to be the worrying part about all these Carvanas, but Carvana is not very strong, so that's alright. Uh, your Team Magma person is a Tabitha, who has a Numel with... Magnitude, Focus Energy, Takedown, and Amnesia. Now he's got Sharpedo. Oh, I guess he's going with the Sharpedo next. Okay, sure. I might get reckless by the Sharpedo, but we'll see. It's the same level, by the way. All the Pokemon are 32 for some reason. Uh, it knows Bite, Focus Energy, Rage, and Scary Face. Hmm, that's a very familiar moveset. He might use Bite. Okay, he's an idiot. Well, I guess it's my speed, so I might be slower anyways. Oh, no, he's... No, he is an idiot. Yeah. He's gonna get killed by this, so... Uh, the camera up on the other... Uh, on the Pokemon Ruby version of the trainer. Same moveset. Uh, as the... The, the new mall. So, very interesting. And... 
Yeah, okay, sure. I sent out the psychic type to deal with the uh, Pokemon with a uh, dark type attacks. And then it's got, yeah, Mighty Ina, um... Wanna take a stab or a frap, I guess? It does have Intimidate, I didn't think of that one. <laughs> sure. Uh... Hold on, real talk, like, okay, so... Anorath is rock and bug, and I don't have any rock or bug attacks. Metal Claw does less damage, so I should really be spamming Aerolace more often. Like Metal Claw is alright, but that 95 accuracy does kind of kick in occasionally. Why am I faster than Mighty Eater? I don't know. So, uh, same, same Mighty Eater on both ends. It's got Raw, Swagger, White, and Scary Face. Swagger might be okay, if I'm lucky. That raised attack might be okay, but it also could be my death now. You know how this works. No, no, we're good, okay. We're good for the moment. He's got the Odin Sleuth. He's sleuthing me out. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, this one person is just like, and, and actually quite a few people are like, I can't afford buying these new AAA games all the time. It's like, no, you don't have to buy new AAA games. Literally, wait for a sale, if you have a Switch, wait for a sale, and we just got away. Now you gotta search the whole ocean. If only someone earlier mentioned exactly where... Uh, I like how this is the one way. If only someone mentioned exactly where under the ocean they'd be. Uh, but I believe... I don't think you actually have to take him on just yet. I think... Um, actually, I don't know if you can take him on just yet, or if you have to get the next gym first. But the whole point is that uh, now, you know... I had that barricade out to the east. And that barricade is now gone. Permitting free access to move out east. Uh, I shall make the trek over east, and then that'll be the it for the stream. Um, so one last thing, but at least I'm making some progress. I seem to fight a lot of Team Aqua today, though, I'll tell you that. This is when we get into the kind of terrifying state as well, of like... I have a fire type, I have a... guy who can't attack water types and a guy who's rock type. So... I don't know, is this Reebok City? This might be Reebok City. Kipperoni should do okay, Nonogram should do okay, but other than that, I'm like, uh, I kinda have to keep bumping Sedimentar up a bit. Knowing that he's gonna be so outclassed by basically everything that's about to come up in front of him. So, uh, anyway, I would like to introduce you to, uh, the reason why IGN gave this game a 7.8 out of 10. And that is, uh, there's a bit of water. Route 124 is, uh, filled with water. And it's not the first time Pokemon's had a very, you know, water-filled route. Uh, but, um... 11 of them? 11 routes, by the way. So, 124 is just, like, up here. It's 125 when you're directly north of Moth Deep City. It becomes 126 in the surrounding areas of Sutopolis. It's 127 in this little channel here. It's, uh, or, or this whole, like, block here. So four, four routes here. This little straight line is 128. If you go too far south, it becomes 129, which you can skip 129 for some reason. It's 130 and then 131 all the way to Pacific Log. And then it's 132, 133, and 134 all the way to Slateport. This is also, uh, I did not... Uh, clarify these uh, probably not 104 but like there's five routes over here so that is 16 of the 34 routes in this game are completely water basically that is the reason why people say so much water it's not because you actually have to engage in the water it's just the fact of it's all here it's all stuff to explore uh, so anyway Moss Deep is all the way to the east and I'm probably going to be fighting a bunch of trainers that have some kind of higher level water types out of nowhere. Like, I'm amazed the Team Aqua admin had weaker Pokemon than the rival. So here's a <laughs> Whalemer, it's level 35. Like, sure, I guess. 
But yeah, I, I don't know why these quote tweets, they think that you gotta buy every game. Like, you don't have to be a fan of every game. In fact, actually, you should really only be selective of the games that you're a fan of. You don't have to participate in all of these. Uh, if we're, you know, mixing up fan and enjoyer, I guess there's lots of games I enjoy, sure, but... You know, again, it's like, I, I wouldn't exactly openly have conversations about some off-chance games I enjoy, like, uh... What's something? What's one...? You're going to see these dark patches in the water, by the way. Uh, that is a, uh, an upcoming HM. Will give us the goods there. Come on. There you go. You're, you're riding a Pokemon instead of swimming. That, that is true, I guess. He's got me there. Rolling, because he be rolling. Yeah, I might need someone else to, like, take out Carvana's. Because I realized, yeah, I'm going to be finding a couple of water types for the rest of the game, and I don't want the Rebox being the only thing I can use. I mean, I guess uh, I could probably use, like, three Pokemon. I don't know, this is going to be kind of interesting. Uh, the water isn't actually, like, too bad. Um, also, I guess, uh, what Pokemon can you find while swimming? It's the usual ones. It's all the same ones. Hunter's house. That's right. Come across here, and here's a guy. He's the hunter. I'm the diving treasure hunter. I'm the awesome dude who makes deep sea dives to gather treasures resting at the bottom. You haven't got any treasures. So if you see any shards, like the red shard, you've got to trade it with me. So these are rather rare shards, I think. I'm not too sure if there's repeatable ways of getting them, but uh, the shards give them one shot. Oh my gosh, we're already here at Musty. Jeez. I'll explore around the route a bit more. Uh, but give, um, give him a shard and he will convert it into the stone that is the same color. So Mustleep is a cool city, by the way. It's just here, I guess. Around Mustleep you can see Wild Whale Mode. It's called, uh, what was it now? Whale, whale, whale. Whale we're watching. Okay, sure. Um, look at that, two city tours today. I got this from Steven, but I don't know what it's good for. I think it's called a King's Road, you want it? Why would you want it? Keep it, but keep it a secret. <laughs> uh, sure, okay. Um, I believe you can actually catch Sharpedos if you get a Super Rod, and I think... I don't think we're able to get a Super Rod. Oh, so here it is. Do you know? Yes, this is my place. It's a little embarrassing how empty it is in here. Oh, here, you should take this HM. It contains dive. <laughs> okay, so dive is the HM I'll need. I'm curious who I'm going to teach dive to, because... Uh, this is one awkward thing, um, you get dive, surf, and, if, and then I will need to teach waterfall? You need to teach three water type attacks, and honestly, you just need surf. Where? He's, he's, still, he's, he knows, he knows my secret. The island space center has been launching huge rockets. Cool. I love huge rockets. Hmm, you're Grumpig. It likes yellow Pokeblocks, doesn't it? No, I'm positive of it. Oh, well, sure, I guess. My husband can tell what kind of Pokeblocks a Pokemon can like. Uh, yeah, not all of us have $60 for each new game release, buddy. Again, it's the same deal. I believe you can just go in the gym. Yes, we're not doing the gym now. There's, there's too much... There's too much uh, gym stuff going on. I know, it's, it's a stream without a gym. When I was young, I traveled the world as a Pokemon trainer. Now that I've become an old buzzard, my only amusement is watching young trainers battle. He's got a door back here. Creepy man, got a door. I heard from my mates in Lily Cove that the herd of Whalemo has disappeared. What went down over there, I suppose? All life needs the sea to live, even though it makes its home on the land. Life, having run its course, becomes soil and returns to the land. And the sea is always connected to the land. Yes, like the very shoreline here. Well, there's netball. Cool. Netball is like basketball, but you can't run. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> uh, this rock has a special meaning to the people at the Space Center. They put it here as their wish for the rockets to fly safely. When you make a wish, what do you use? Do you wish upon a star? I use a wish tag to make it happen. That's what I do. I used to always like think that line was interesting. Like, oh, where do I get wish tags? But like, you know, that's just like a bit of writing, a bit of dialogue. Call me a youngster. 
Hey, you do give me a super rod. There you go, okay. Alright, so you can get a super rod. So, the fun part about a super rod is that, yes, you can now catch some kind of different Pokemon. I think the good rod really would only get you Pokemon that's the same as the old rod. So, usually, Magic Up and Tentacle. But, uh, sometimes you get a, you know, Whalmer here. Now, with the super rod, you can get Whalmer to level 45. <laughs> I just oh, there you go. Okay, a boyfriend. Uh, you can also catch Sharpedos, uh, just out here. It's kind of fun. Um, hello there. I was taking a stroll down the beach when I found this. It's not anything I need. Ooh, Sunstone, very nice. The Hoenn region has been famous for its meteor showers for a long time. It has, yes. Some people claim the Pokemon came from space. Could it be true? That is true. That is 100% true. A giant chunk of metal bursts through the skies. It flies into space. It boggles my mind. The rocket launched safely. That's successful launch number five. Ooh. The rocket launch demands perfection. Not even a 1% margin of error is allowed. Even if it's 99% okay, the whole thing is useless if 1% happens to be no good. Despite that, we never stop trying. Why? It's a dream that never ends. Huh. Okay. Hello there. I wish ordinary people could go into space one day. I'm an ordinary person. When are they doing Pokemon in space? When are they actually doing it? <laughs> so, I don't think there's anything particularly, like, you know, fancy to get. I think it's really just the gym. I think that's kind of the only thing you gotta do here. Um, yeah, okay, sure. I'll keep exploring around, and obviously, you cannot continue... Actually, yeah, sorry. You need the... <laughs> I don't... Okay, earlier I, I said, oh, you need, um... You know, oh, you, you might not need to go to, to Moss Deep in order to attack one Team Aqua. No, but you need them in order to get the badge to use Dive. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking about. F you, F you, F you, I dive deep underwater to go undercover. So I don't remember the... The... The water area being too complex. Just, like, keep double-checking on your map where you are. It's very easy to get a little lost, though, I will say that. Uh, but effectively, like, I guess this starts off being a bit of a, like, imagine just, like, a diagonal down-right kind of direction. I think that's Route 124, basically. It's kind of big, but... I think it's not too bad. That is very astonishing, though. I wonder how I'd even do against this gym, because, like... This gym isn't, like, too high le Well, the, the gym... The end gym Pokémon. The two for the gym leaders. Fun fact. <laughs> we'll get into that one later. Think you beat my Pokémon, I can serve by a oh, okay. But it's the fact that level 42... Which is like a fairly steep like climb, given that it's the only next thing that I have to accomplish in the game. You can keep going around and there's a lot of really high level Pokemon to fight. Like, you know, all over the place. Um, like I'm looking around, it's like, okay, surfing, uh, surfing's not too, too bad anymore. But like you can use your Super Rod and you can reliably fight either a Pokemon that's between level 25 and 45 or a Pokemon that's 30 to 35. And it's Sharpedo, it's got good experience. more places as well, like I'm pretty sure you can go to, I think, Route 125, which is north of Moss Deep. And there's a whole cave. That cave would actually be kind of interesting. I think that cave would actually be ra rather interesting. So for reference, I might as well add, north of Moss Deep City is a cave called Shoal Cave, um, which uh, I'll explore next stream, but it's an interesting cave because every... Um, six hours between three o'clock and nine o'clock and then back to three o'clock and then back to nine o'clock um, it changes its tide and that means you can explore basically half of the the cave you know at once and then you gotta wait and you can explore the other half I stream at 8 30 which means at the beginning of the next stream I could probably explore both sides of Shoal Cave 
That's that's a convenient thing. That's very convenient for me. The rebox is getting a bit bubbled. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, and then other than that, it's like diving around trying to fight trainers. I don't know if I could guarantee fighting every single trainer around, but definitely there's a lot. There's a lot of trainers. It's more just like getting my Pokemon up to the levels I really like need them to. I guess Reebok is kind of like my de facto like lead right now. Isn't that kind of weird. But yeah, uh, to ultimatum to ultimately close on uh, this Twitter, whatever. Um, it is a bit of a loaded question. I don't think. Um, oh, some people definitely like come up with the examples of the games that they can talk about. But yeah, it's it's loaded. I think. For me, as someone who makes videos like this, the biggest thing I want is if you enjoy the stuff that I actually am playing, please play it. Please, like, get a gist of the game yourself. Don't just take my word for it. I try and cover, you know, as many parts of the game, at least, that you can reasonably cover during a live stream. Um, but I do really want you as a player to, like, hey, have your own opinion. Not every game I play is gonna, you know, ring true with you, and there's gonna be games that you play that may not ring true with me, but I totally appreciate that people have different opinions. Um, and I, I, I guess, and I know I mentioned like, oh, no one had my opinion when it came to Dark Souls earlier, I know I said that, but like, it's more that like, I don't want the conversation to be drowned out by people who don't have the played experience of the game. I think there's a lot of people um, and I, I mentioned Dark Souls, uh, I'll mention it again. There's people who write on, I think, the Fextra Life wiki. And there's things I've seen on that wiki that are just wrong. Really wrong. And I'm like, this game is old. And, like, you know, it's been, like, 12 years since Dark Souls came out. These people should have a good gist of how to, like, actually correct that. Uh, but they don't, for some reason. Uh, there's, uh, two... There's a double trainer somewhere. I want to fight them just before the end of the stream. Um, but yeah, the number of people who did take like a direct offense from this one tweet though is very remarkable. Because one, guys, it's Twitter. Don't take it too seriously. When someone doesn't ping you, you they're usually not talking about you. Maybe, and you know what, there's people out there who say the right thing, or not the right thing, but like, they have the opinion, and there's actually, um, someone by the name of, uh, what is this? Helix Zero, uh, the Twitter handle. Uh, software engineer, RPG engineer, RPG horror, like, okay, sure, okay. But they're an engineer. And as an, as an engineer, it's like, oh, like, you know, engineer, engineer, I'm sharing their opinion. They just go, thoughts? I've found the most aggressive fans haven't even played the game and act more knowledgeable than those that have played the games. Just a, just a general statement, no specific game, but that is something that I've seen. Not every game is like that, but definitely the most vocal people I find on the internet are definitely people who haven't actually played the games, and they will say things that are wrong and they will adamantly be wrong about things. Here I am in the sea, but who's with me? My little brother! That is a, that is a very relatable, very relatable sentiment. Battle of the Redheads! Is this the first time I've seen Chin Chow? I think so. Uh, Chin Chow is water electric, which is great for my flying type that I've got right here. So, we're gonna pop a sword sand, so I'm probably gonna need to sand the fight for a bit. Um, but yeah, this person asked the question, and I think in general, like, yeah, they get a, a bunch of replies where it's like, um, oh, yeah, someone's got a, a decent point here, where it's like, on the one hand, you know, you can not, like, you know, being a fan of, of a game and loving it without playing it is one thing. Hating on a game without playing it is also another, and to that I go, yeah, I kind of agree. I kind of agree. I guess the difference is that it's a bit weird to love a game and then not buy it, not support the actual creation of the game. But if you hate it, not buying it is sort of the default position. So I don't blame you for not playing it. But I would definitely say your opinion of the game is clouded by I haven't played it yet. There's a lot of that. This is a, 
This is a really interesting question. This is a really, like, like, fun topic. Because I feel like everyone has seen that. Everyone has seen that kind of community, that kind of, like, crowd. Like, I, I mean, I mentioned, uh, I really enjoy Undertale. I really, like, I've enjoyed playing that game a couple of times. I do not really want to interact with, you know, the fandom. I'm cool if you enjoy the game. But oh boy, there's some people who, who make it a lot of their personality, you know what I mean? Like, oh, okay, sure. Um, and I can guarantee some of those haven't played the games. A lot of people in this quote tweet thread cite Five Nights at Freddy's or fighting games, and they don't play them. It's like, oh, okay. Um, I don't know what Drakengrad is. Is that, a, is that a, like a CRPG? I'm looking with this one up, someone's gonna say, Oh, how do you not know what Drakengrad is? Drakengrad is... Uh... Drag on Dragoon. It's... An action role-playing game from Square... Creator Yokotaro, that's probably why. I've, I've not been following Yokotaro, so... Oh! Because Drakengrad is, a uh, Effectively, the Nier franchise. Ah, uh, okay. Or rather, the Nier franchise is a spin-off of Dragon Grand. Someone's gonna tell me off, because I didn't know that one. But, I, listen, I've played none of the games, and I never claimed to know. So, with that, uh, st statement of me embarrassing myself, I'd say that's a stream. We've gone back, we've gone through, uh, four more trick rooms. Trick houses, rather. Uh, fought a bunch of random trainers, beat my rival, Headed out to the, um, mystical, like, dead Pokemon tower where they're all dead. Did I say they're dead? They were dead. Um, went through a couple of routes, beat up some, some trainers, uh, found Team Aqua, or beat up my rival, found Team Aqua at the base, found Team Aqua at the top of the tower, the dead tower, uh, got a Master Ball, lots of stuff. And we're here with Moss Deep, ready to, um, tackle on Shoal Cave. If I don't go into to shell into there, you know, yell at me basically. So, with that, I would like to thank you so very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed my ramblings. I hope you uh, don't get drowned out too much by the Reddit blackout. But you know, if you, I'm not on Reddit. If you want to contact me, you can contact me easily via that email address of bnow at bnow uh, or I'm on, uh, I guess, the Fediverse. Pleroma, uh, my address is just at m.bnr.com, so message me there. You don't message me, I don't know. I don't usually plug messaging me, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, if you enjoyed this stream, or you missed parts of it, uh, the VOD will be on YouTube very shortly, and if you're on YouTube, then, uh, cool. You can watch them live on Twitch at 8.30pm Australian Eastern Standard Time. So, I'll be here next week, playing more Pokemon, basically. Um, I don't really have any, like, hard ideas for the upcoming week, but... Yeah, I hope you stay safe, uh, eat your greens, don't stay up too late, um, and, uh, I don't know. I should figure out how to set up that lemmy. It'd be good. Alright, peace!